Welcome everyone to the 2021 FIDE World Blitz Chess Championships in Warsaw, Poland. I'm Grandmaster Benjamin Bach and it is my pleasure to be joined here by National Master James Canty III. James, the Blitz starts off today and look who is below it. It is our man Hikaru. Chat, do y'all see him on the screen? He just made a move. Y'all can see him play right now. We got the cam for y'all today because we love y'all exactly. like that, Chad. Because yeah. we a big shout out to Maria as well. Yeah. We in here. Big Let's go, Bach. I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah, I know the same. Big shout out to Maria Emilianova, also known as Photo Chess on Twitch. Make sure to check her out. Give her a follow. I mean, we cannot be any more grateful that she is providing us with live footage of Hikaru. Uh, at the World Blitz Championship. I mean, what a treat. Let's so, get it. So let's see what we got on the board, Bach. What is this strangeness are we looking at? Good question. Yeah, it looks like looks like some sort of weird... I don't even know how to call this. Is this the... Um, is this... I don't know. Like, A6 <laughs> was played on move move 2, and Hikaru just took the pawn on C5 and defends it with the bishop on E3. If black doesn't get that pawn back anytime soon, I think he's just lost. So queen a5, queen a4 is on the board. Hikaru's trying to hang on to the pawn. Um, yeah, I mean, what do you think um, black should do here? I mean, if black's not fast enough, then he will just be that pawn for insufficient compensation. So I'm, I think it's a pretty good start for Hikaru here. A huge, and especially, I mean, you got to remember, this man is uh, not only fast and like pressing you on a clock online, He's doing it over the board. He is. This is a three-two. He has three minutes and six seconds already. Right. I mean, just blitzing through things as his opponent yeah. is already thinking. It's it's rough situation. Playing Caro exactly, like this yeah. is, uh, you can see him on the screen going to work. Yeah, for sure. And he Caro for a very long time was uh, the number one blitz player in the world with a rating over twenty nine hundred, um, and he lost that spot in the St. Louis Rapid and Blitz. Uh, because he won with a score of like plus three or, or plus six, whatever it was. But all his opponents were so much lower rated that he ended up losing rating. But but I was thinking later on that in St. Louis, the time control was five minutes plus two seconds increment. And here at the World Blitz, it's three minutes plus two second increment. So he should be even stronger in this time format. Mm -mm -mm. Even stronger. That's scary. That's very scary. <laughs> yeah. You know, Bach, that's a scary sentence, you know. Even stronger sure. the lower time controls here, but uh, is was Ra World Rapid and Blitz ever five minutes? I'm assuming no. it was. Really, there's never been five. I think for it three. was always I mean, for three plus blitz. two. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, three is uh, fine, but that's crazy. Three two. Yeah, well, it's been an entire time being five zero being the regular blitz. Yeah, and no, I think like maybe way back in the day it was five zero, but um, I mean ever since you know digital clocks were introduced. Why would you want to deal with flying pieces, right? right? So anyway, it's looking pretty good here for Hikaru. Like we mentioned before, he's not only pressuring his opponent on the board, but also on the clock. He's up a full minute and he is ready to hop into these juicy D5 and B6 scores. So some problems for Black to figure out. Man, look at these knights about to go crazy. Knight D5, Knight B6, Knight everything, Knight Knight. You know, it's uh, exactly. a lot going on with these knights nice structure here the problem is our light square bishop is it is pretty garbage but mm -hmm. of course we could figure out what to do with it maybe later obviously bishop yeah. e3 being an aspect or a uh, a target square bishop e2 i mean what do we do with this bishop overall box yeah no that's a good question uh he car decided to trade on d6 i think the bishop can always move out of d3 hitting the pawn on h7 uh, and that's what he car does he develops a bishop um Evil Bar is not a huge fan. Maybe Bishop E6 for Black to move out as Bishop. I think Black should not spend a move like H6 to defend the pawn, but Knight E4 is on the board by Black. Let's see how Hikaru will proceed here. I mean, he can always hop in with the Knight, right? And that's what he does. Knight Rook to B8 on the board. Very nice by Black, uh, keeping all his pieces on the dark squares, as White does have the light square Bishop. Not many targets for it to hit besides the H7 pawn, which uh, it can be, it is grabbable, but will you, will you be locked in there after f5 but we can't take on c8 and then f5 so true hmm, yeah interesting I, is he trying yeah, i think or no taking the pawn is risky indeed after a move like f5 um because your bishop can get trapped and okay so he does take it bishop oh, e6 is on the board it. by black he said forget all it. right it's mine. um figure it out what later. if we drop the bishop 
back? What's going to happen? I'm just going to see how this one's going to proceed. Um, yeah. He drops the bishop back to d3, as you guys can see in the live camera. Once again, big shout out to Maria. Because the live camera is faster than uh, the board here. Okay, there's b5, but then there's still knight ac3. Both minutes have a little bit more than a minute. Rook c8 by black. Mm, that's some counterplay. Rook c8 b5. Here, yeah. yeah, that's some counterplay. That is some serious counterplay. Yeah. I still feel like white's able to wiggle out of this. Um, yeah. But definitely some and serious pressure. And by Hikaru trying to hang on. I think we saw a 5 on the board. Yeah, black is turning all sorts of things. Also, Bishop, Bishop the g5. I think Hikaru played king to b1, but not sure. Yeah, Bishop g5 is on the board. He played rook h e1. Looking tough. Black having two bishops. A very strong knight on d4. Potential pressure along the b foul. Rook to be able to play for that reason. Uh, Hikaru is thinking here. Wow, they even on time here. Yeah, he uh somehow yeah. something went wrong. Something definitely went wrong, but um this is rough. What the heck is going on? I mean his structure is gross, yeah. but it's really tight. Pressure down the B file, but he has double pawns, but the bishops are holding everything like glue, and the knight on d4 is is really annoying. Exactly. Strange. He goes rook to d2, knight takes f3 for black. And if takes you take an e1 and something that knight on e3 is loose, we see his opponent Burke and Brighter. Pausing for a second, and he goes king to e7. Wait, does that allow? No, I mean, I thought maybe he can do this, but black takes with the rook. But still takes, takes the rook e5. Maybe that's a change in the position he car needs. He goes rook to f2, getting out of the pin. 37 seconds for Ikaru, 49 for black. Not a, it's not looking too great here. There's a lot, you know, when they say, uh, it's the Magnus effect. In Blitz, it's the Hikaru effect. You've seen it many Definitely. times. You'll yeah. be winning, and then you'll be winning, and you crushing, and King then you lose. Six. Literally. G3 by Car wants to chip away the structure with F4. We gotta spam that flower to give him that power. 36 seconds for Hikaru, 31 for black. What did black play? I can't tell. Knight B5. Offering a knight trade. It's King C1? Maybe not take it, but then I'll you guys. Uh, we see a trade in F4. F4. Oh, but take GF. There's Bishop H4. Shoot. Oh, he played H4 first. Shoot. Is he losing Wait, completely what happened? after that? He played I'll H4. Take, take, take. Oh, but he takes on G5. Okay, take on E3. He's down a pawn here. Looking very tough. I have no idea what Black played. Rook to D5. Okay, he car well. played something like B4. King B2 is coming. Okay. Um... We saw a trade rook h8, chat. king b2. Not looking too great for Ikaro. Let's hope he can hang on here. I mean, a win here would be insane, but I mean, if he manages to survive this this one, it's always better than a loss. Yeah, definitely. Like always king better than a loss. King Check. moves to b4. Looking very tough. Even if he captures the spawn on b5, his king will be in, wide in the open. So we see Hikaru moving the king back. b4 was played in king to b2. I think black is his rook on c5 before the rook c5 happened. Um, yeah, that's rook c5. He has the rooks king double here. Rooks. Yeah. Okay, rook c5, king b2. Tough time. Okay, are they repeating? Once again. Uh, see them shuffling back and forth. Wait, isn't this a threefold? Wait, it feels like it is. Felt like it was, but rook e3. Black's unsure of how to proceed. King g6. Six seconds for black, though. That is not a lot of time. King g5. Okay, rook f3 is a threefold. Rook f. Okay, rook f2. Wait, and rook f4 happened going after the pawn. King g5. I have no idea what's going on. Rook f4 is on the board hitting the pawn. Black played something rook to b5. Oh, wait. I think we... Wait, James? Wait, we lost James. Um... Wait one second, you guys. Um... Shoot. Should we lost James? Frick. Um...
in the meantime though Hikaru's game is proceeding so we can get James back okay I think wait a second Black is pushing the pawn up the board. Um, King tough here can car hang on. Sorry guys, we're, we're literally figuring this out on the fly. Wait, and what happened? Did he win? Oh, it's a draw. Okay guys, a draw happened. Um, okay guys. Um, yeah, so Hikaru's game did end in a draw. Uh... We're waiting for um, James to um, come back. Unfortunately, he lost uh, connection, so that's why um, the whole thing, um, like the cameras, got messed up. But hopefully, he comes back soon. Welcome back, everyone, to the 2021 World Blitz Chess Championships in Warsaw, Poland. I'm Grandmaster Benjamin Bach. It's my pleasure to be joined here by National Master James Canty. We had some technical issues there, but we're now going to do a quick review of the results. As we see, uh, Magnus Carlsen, he uh, won his first game with the black pieces against uh, Fidel Corrales. Unfortunately, Hikaru drew with the white pieces against Brockton Ryder. Vladislav Artemiev also drew. Ferruja lost with white. Wow. Fabiano, he uh, drew. Duda won. Jan also drew a lot of upsets. MVL won. Anish uh, drew with the black piece against Ivan Sarge. Ivan Sarge way underrated here, like almost 150 points. Arjun uh, drew with the white pieces. Uh, Grishuk, he won. Uh, Shahriar, friend of the channel, he won as well. Uh, Richard, he drew. Oh, Dubov is not playing for some reason. Yeah, I see huh. that. What is that? I don't know. And Lavon won as well. Um, anyway, let's get everything. Okay, so ready. round two ready. Two. It is yeah. what is he playing? Yeah, our man. Oh, wait, let's have a quick look at the pairings. Our man is playing on board 35. He is playing Powell Tsarnota with the black pieces. Okay, so let's get everything. I mean, I've heard of him, but I don't know him uh, too well. Well, he right there on the screen. Y'all actually can't see him. It's, it's, it's him, actually, which I can see the board. But, uh, yeah, Carlos okay. on the right with the black pieces. Yeah, so Get this dub. That's right. That's that energy, Drew Dog. Get this dub. Okay, so we're going right. to uh, adjust seen here to make sure that our man is visible let me second you guys um thanks run out five that's that energy right there big fella shout out to the mods too <laughs> 250 juicers hey be, be careful here sam okay hey man be light there to get these users on it. I mean, it's always, you know, uh, it's not that easy, you know, first round. Okay, guys, we're getting on their way. Okay. Any second now, give me a second. Be ready. Updating this. Love the game in live. I think, uh, do you have the game in, do you have the game in live? Yeah. Oh, it just, it just came up. The game is in live. In live? Okay. Yeah, you can go to live. It's up right now. A second. Oh, oh we got a modern. Oh, we got a modern, bro. Oh, he's playing, he the playing his modern that he plays online. Yeah. Okay, let me update 
You know how he does. You see him do this every week at Title Tuesdays. Yeah. He's playing it like it's Title Tuesday. There you go, Yika. Yes. Yes, he is. Wait just a second, you guys. It's coming up soon. He's setting it up right. right now. He's setting it up right now, chat. Y'all can see right there, though, right under us. But the digital reflection is coming. Yeah. Chill. Come on, Jay Dells. Get him. Get him, man. Okay. Uh, almost there. All right. Coming. Okay, um, here we go. Let me get, let me do. The car wins. There we go. Yeah, there yeah, we can see. There. We can see Ikaru. Uh, yeah, so we see in modern, a uh, bit of a risky approach. D5 from Powell, uh, pushing in the center. Let's see how Hikaru is going to respond to this. Mm, I mean, he doesn't have a good score for the knight. He might get a little bit cramped here for space. He goes knight b4, makes sense. Um, move like a5 seems tricky because your knight can easily get trapped. But let's see. But I always have is. c5, right? Oh, but you're talking about a right, c3 but push. A c3 yeah, push. Yeah, I mean, nasty. if the knight, if the knight moves back. Yeah, like some and then C3 happens, you're not C3, I'm out of there. Yeah. Okay. Oof. So you got to play like C6. Let's and flip the board, here. by the way, and look at it from Hikaru's mm -hmm. perspective. Look at him. You see him on the lean back, and then he lean forward. Like, the lean back. You see the sight there? The psychological? This is what you can't see all over the board. The lean back, like, bro, I got this. Like, okay, can D4, you make a move you play already? Knight of 6. I think White played A5. Uh, yeah, he did actually. He did. So this knight is out here in the wilderness. Fuck. Yeah. As you mentioned, he has to get. He has to be very careful that his knight doesn't get trapped. Let's see what he should do. Because mm. there's no easy path back, to be honest. Rook if he goes c5 now, if why would take, he's happy because he recaptures and the knight is safe. But if I move the bishop back, c5. Down, yeah. Yeah. This should be three, and then. Oh, he does take en passant. It is forced. You see, you guys, it is forced. Bach is ruining somebody's chess career right now. Somebody's Don't chess forget. career. Somebody else. should be six. And that's okay. up, up. Crucial game. Move the queen somewhere. Queen e7. Okay, now once again, guys, our man had a tough start. He drew the first round with the black pieces. So make sure to spam that flower to give him all the power he needs. We see trade in f3 happening. Um, yeah, let's see what is gonna happen. Well, we have the uh, modern dragon bishop, King's Indian bishop. I think he's doing quite well. The c4 square yeah. is weak, and it's it almost is like he played a Sicilian, some type of yep. Sicilian. The rook comes to c8, or some type of dragon, literally a dragon position, somehow where maybe some weaknesses do on the b and b6 and a5, yeah. but. You've already plugged the squares with white pieces. Knight a4 to b6 is definitely an idea, but I mean, black's doing quite well. Yeah. White going knight to d5 makes a lot of sense. If Hikaru takes, he will recapture. I will see Hikaru going rook a c8 first, and white playing c3, blunting the bishop on the long diagonal. Um, maybe something like knight e5 to c4 makes sense. That's exactly what's happening on the board as yeah. we speak it. Rook a c8. Why he wants to go here. I think it, it makes sense for white to take. Yeah, which is what he does. And bishop to e2. Car recaptures with the bishop, of course. Wait, mine is... Uh, and white is thinking. Slower than yours. Hikaru oh, has okay, 131 on the clock. And white is under a minute. White goes queen to e2. Now, a bit of a weird move. The bishop is kind of stuck e here. So let's see, maybe knight to c4 makes sense, but I would prefer bishop e2 for white because now this bishop cannot move anywhere. Like, what can you ever do with this bishop, right? So he covered taking his time. Let's see what he's going to do. So again, make sure to give this guy your energy. 
Okay, he took it. Definitely three. get those primes for the time, right? Because the time yeah. now is like three minutes, you know, every yeah. prime takes exactly. off a few seconds of that time. Exactly, so you toss in that prime to get him low on time. Okay, rook ab1 to protect the pawn. And rook to c6 by Hikaru on the board. White going rook f to d1. And Hikaru moves in the other rook with rook f to c8. By moving his queen over to d3. Let's see, Hikaru is reaching for the queen. Where is he going to go? Is he going to trade? He goes rook to c4. He wants to keep queens on the board. Okay, it makes a lot of sense. He's still up a minute on the clock. White going queen to d5. Hikaru going queen to c6. He's like, all right, if you trade, I want to take... Does he want to take with the pawn? I mean, that's possible, but the, this rook might then get trapped. Right. Right, if white goes f3, like, where's your rook going all of a sudden? So maybe you should crazy, capture yeah. with the rook, play it solid, but... I mean, there's still play left in the position, but white is fairly solid. It's not easy to create chances here with black. So mm. keep spamming that flower, but especially tossing that prime Jeez. to get white low on time. Hikaru takes with the eighth rook, f3 on the board, and Hikaru goes king too. f8. I mean, like, these guys are strong and like king f2, wow. king e8, king, king e3, e king d7 is on the board. Oh wow. Bishop the d4. So Let me refresh. I think that might be a mistake because that makes this pawn weak. Right? After a trade, this can start hanging. But let's see if we can cook up some chance. Once again, the material is getting fairly limited here. Keep spamming that flower. e5 in check. There's nothing, huh? Yeah. He goes bishop g5 check. The king moves back to e2. Okay. He goes rook to c8, making sure his rook position. always has space. Move. Why going b3, rook back to c6 and c4. f5 by Ikaru trying to chip away the structure. This is what happened. Um, why captures, Ikaru recaptures. Why going g4, expanding on the king side. Ikaru going e5, expanding in the center. Bishop f2. King to e6 on the board. Rook to d5 by white. 20 seconds under. Bishop e7, rook f8, and bishop e7. Indeed. Tough, tough. You're going h5, trying to chip away the structure. White having... He still like half a minute. White has like probably 10 seconds or something. I don't know. Rook g1 is on the board. Uh, we take, see... Take take. take, take. Let's see what he's going to do. f4, bishop f2, rook h8. Trying to infiltrate this on h2. He did. Take rook to d1. Rook to d1. And bishop d8 hitting the pawn on a5. Oh. Rook to d5 back. Okay, rook h2. Rook h2. Rook h2. Rook h2. Rook h2. And then rook h2. Bishop h4. Well, maybe and there he goes. Well, rook h2 maybe. on the board. King has to go back to like f1. You got to get out of this pin. There he goes. King to f1. Let's see what Icaro is going to do here. It's like 7 protecting the pawn. Rook g2. Rook h3 keeping... Oh, and e4, e4, e4. Nice, nice. E4 is on the board, hitting this. If you take f3 with a fork, there we go. Oh, my goodness. And rook to g1 is on the board. He can take with the rook, which should be very strong. Then he will chip. Then he will take the pawn on b3. Card taking his time here. E3, uh, rook h2. And uh, how's he going to take? He takes with the pawn, okay. King moves up to d3. Rook h2 hitting the bishop. Rook f1 to defend. Rook to c8. Almost time and king e4. Eh, don't like the fact that he didn't take with the rook. Okay, but still, what well, is time is getting very low. Bishop d4, rook h4, g5, rook g4 is on the board. Rook takes f3. Car took with the bishop. C5, bishop back to e7. Car still up upon. Rook Yo, to g2. He's, he's, he's clean. C takes d6. It's clean, big fella. He's working check. it. We have a king d3. Exactly. Car takes a rook. Okay, wait, he should be winning now. He should be winning now. Take on the oh, he takes on e7 in between, and Hikaru takes bishop c5, rook f7. Yep, rook Six. behind the pass pawn. Uh, this, this, um, this, Push. this, bishop c5 here Get takes out, everything that's on the board. This is an e, this should be an easy win for Hikaru f2. Look at him. Uh, he's doing the, I think he can go f1, take, take. King c6. Yeah, he's grabbing. He's reaching for the queen. Oh, look for the. It's see weird. Grab the queen. Yeah, there you he goes. He the queen. Queen. Don't flag. Take. Thank you. Take, take, Appreciate and everything's winning. King c6. Yeah. Thanks for that queen. And king b5. Yeah, and he looks relaxed. That is the first win. There we go. There Let's we go. go. That's first up. Let's go. Ah. Yeah. He's he's yeah having that look like not good, not good. I mean, we we take the dub, but not not good, not good. Take the dub. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Job done. Out. Yeah. Assassin. 
deadly. Yeah, always I think a bit of a relief, you know, when uh, I mean he's. I mean, I don't think there's any other explanation for that first draw other than than nerves, you know. So always nice to get the first win on the scoreboard, mm -hmm. and let's hope he can, uh, you know, keep going from from here. I saw, hey, it's sloppy. It was sloppy, but uh, hey, a win is a win. Like it doesn't matter, you know. This exactly. is blitz too as well. This is we, blitz. We, we just come to get these dubs and, and go home. Yeah, Hikaru is strongest. Really, when both players are low on the clock, he just doesn't blunder, you know, and he keeps up the pressure. Um, so, yeah, that's where he needs to take those dubs. Let's see if he can keep it up until that was a great game. for the rest of the tournament. Yeah, He played well, though, actually. He played but, yeah, really I mean, it was a tough packs. position, but he created chances out of nowhere, so that is that is very impressive. Yeah, Paul uh, and uh, his opponent, uh, big, big kudos to him for uh, taking, you know, this was not any... No yeah. easy game by far. Yeah. So. so sorry if the, the live board became a bit of a uh, scribble scrabble board there. But fortunately, we have Maria for the live coverage. Right. Again, otherwise, we would have no idea what would happen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, following some so, of the live board stuff. Once again, the big, shout out, big shout out. Big shout out to... Uh, oh, there we hey, go. That's Maria. Hi, Maria. Hey. Big shout out to her. Oh, and that's Anamaya. That's Anamaya. Big shout Anamaya. out to uh, Photo Chess on Twitch. Make sure to give her a follow. And also shout out to Anamaya. Her name is Anamaya. Maybe people can give her a shout out in the chat. There we go. All right. So, um, yeah. Let's see if the results are in already. I don't. Maybe. Wait. I don't know if they said hi. No. I think I think it is easier. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's uh, let's see if the results are already updated for round number two. Some some results are in, but we'll just wait for the full results before we are gonna pull that up. scrolling yeah I think they're all done yeah I think we don't know yet where Hikaru will be playing we'll find out uh, shortly okay Yeah, they're still being played. Really good. Let me check. Okay, yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can find. Uh, but let's see if we can see how El Magneto did. All right. Uh, El Magneto won. He got a dub. Let's there. pull that one up shortly. Here we go. We see that El Magneto won against Sanan Shigirov. Uh, seemed like a. T Dude, from this position, I mean, come on. Come on. Shigirov, you gotta chip away some some points here by. But okay, it is, it is Magnus. <laughs> it is what it is. He got the dub. He pulled water from a stone. He's known to do that. Amazing. Um. Yeah. So, we're just waiting for results to come in, and then we will review those shortly. He blunted his queen. Why? That guy blunted his queen. Yeah. Um, he did. Yeah. How did um, he, this is wait, over Black, the board. He, this is over the board, though. I don't know. Right, but, but he was it. already... Oh, wait. Wait, what happened? But no, he, like, so, literally blended it. Like, huh, Queen D2. Yeah. Queen D2 Thrown for content. Wait, what? Now slept OTB. That's crazy. Bruh. <laughs> Queen D2. I don't know, maybe even, yeah. you know, sometimes I played a little bit too much internet chess. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know, mate, whatever. Hey. 
Oh, and religious. by the way, um, it seems like um, wait. Let me pull this up as soon as possible. It seems like Ferruja lost. I were seeing again. He took an L. No, he didn't. I don't believe it. Wow, is he throwing for content? Nah, no hell. Okay, that one doesn't seem like it's updated. They both have a zero. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not pulling up. Yeah. Yeah. Like they both lost. <laughs> they both lost. Play each other. Yeah, we both lost. Uh, that's wrong. He lost his first game. We're trying to find the second one here. He drew. Looks like he drew. Yeah, but fortunately, board is not pulling up. It's um, up in live. Yeah. I mean, uh, sorry. Uh, events. Okay, yeah, this is El Magneto. We see he won. Okay, maybe we just had to do a quick refresh. Okay, so let's see. Ferruja. Oh, Ferruja got a got got lucky. He was Yeah, he, he found a way out. He was getting smacked. Oh, he was getting completely busted. But uh let's see. So typical Sicilian. Once again, guys, this is the blitz. Really anything can happen. Um in the end, though, most of the favorites <laughs> will pull through, but always, you know, weird stuff happening in the first rounds. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Like, Perugia, 2800. <coughs> Wait, so let's see. After... Right now. First two rounds. Oh, why did the move Knight to F6? And if you take this just one check, I slide over, I guard H5. Then you can't do anything about um, E8 queen and you're going to lose. But why play rook to C3 and now suddenly came a check. Mm. White went here, here. Prepared it out. And went back. But what if you go for up? The hills. Right, because C8 is covered. Correct. Can't you just walk up the board? <laughs> oh, C8 is covered, yeah. You could go to E6 yeah. and relax. Yeah, he carves um, rivals getting getting a bit lucky here and there, but yeah. it is what it is. Let's see. Um, so let's see if if all the results are in the books yet. Okay, let's. Uh, we're gonna do a very quick review of the results here. Okay, and there we go. Oh yeah, there are. Okay, and we see that uh, Magnus, he won his second round as well. Duda lost in a, in a, in a second round. MVL drew. Grishuk won. Grishuk, three-time world champion in like 2006, 2000 something, 2015. Mm -hmm. um, then we have Greg Oprin drawing with Shekri or Momijarov. Levan Aronian, he won a second round as well. Uh, Marty Rosion won, Nihal Sarin drawing. But once again, the, in already the second round, we see very strong gems facing off against each other. Noterback Abdu Satter of the World Rapid Champion beating Jordan Van Forest uh, in the second round, moving the two out of two. Just kidding, it's it's Jordan Van Jordan Van Forest. As I, was well say, Yo, I heard a J there, bro. Like, <laughs> I heard a J in there. That's what we yeah. do. <laughs> oh. And Sergei Karyakin, 2016 World Blitz champion, going down in the second round as well. Um, and good friend Lucas, Lucas van Vreest wins his second game as well. So he moves to two out of two. I don't think I'm missing any big name. I mean, well, let's just show real quick that um, here, where is he? Oh, Hikaru, he did win his game. Sorry. on board 35 so let's have a look at the third round pairings we see that Magnus Carlsen is facing off against Ingech on board 1 Grishuk having black piece against John Sebastian Levan Aronian having black piece against uh, Damidov um, Sochko versus Marty Rosian 
Lucas van Vreest against Shevchenko. Um, Vera save against Santos. The Flaming GM, Dennis Kodrich against Abdusatorov. Sorana Gareev and a bunch of other uh, pairings. Let's see, we have Hikaru Nakamura facing off against Vasif Durabeli. Hikaru should be favored, but Vasif is, is, is tricky in, in Blitz. Absolutely, uh, Webster. Webster monster yeah. too. Then, uh, Jan Pomniachi facing off with the Black Piece against Andre Volokitin. Tough pairing. I mean, Volokitin, he's like 2650, you know, classical and rapid. So I feel like he's underrated there, 2550. MVL facing off against Chaparinov. Anish Giri playing a Polish GM. Oh, and there, Andrew Tang, another friend of the channel. Penguin GM1. Penguin playing Arjun. That's a nice Playing nice another matchup. Blitz monster, Arjun. That's going to be fire for sure. So as we see on the camera below, the players are getting, uh, are taking their seats slowly but surely. And yeah, so let's just wait for everyone to get seated. I don't know what time the next round is going to start, whether it's going to start at, you know, 55 or on the hour, but we will find out shortly. Nice one. We got white this round, too. What y'all think in chat? Yeah. What are we, we seeing? Move one. B3, Knight F3. Let's get a poll up. What y'all thinking? Yeah. What's up, move? More like cows. We have, uh, we got B3, right? So, you know, he likes his B3. You know we got the one night F3. Yeah. And we also have D4. Yeah. And we got E4. So you got four options here. Yep. Four options. E4, D4, Knight F3, and B3. Okay, this guys. This is usual. Um, next round is probably going to start in five minutes. So we are going to take a very short break. But don't go anywhere, guys. More action coming your way at the World Blitz Championship. All right, welcome back everyone to round number three of the World Blitz Championship, and they are off. Hikaru playing a bit of a sideline with Knight of Six and E3. We see Dora Bailey play the move B6. Uh, and Hikaru's taking his time. He goes for G3, interesting. Heard a few in Kato's Bishop as well. Taking a sip there from his G Fuel Shaker. Um, yeah, G Fuel. Shout out to you, chat. Night of three, right? Night of three. He's shaking the G, you know, drinking his shaker right there, drinking the G Fuel. That's a command for you right there. Command G Fuel. Add, right? Add. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. G Fuel. Indeed. Um, and yeah, okay. So we see Dora Bailey thing, the first real thing of the game. I wonder what there's the. I mean, Bishop G seven, Bishop B seven looks very natural. I would think his time, which is a good sign for Hikaru. Make sure to toss in that prime to make Dura Bailey take his time. Prime. Hikaru I'm... sitting back. Unfortunately, we can't see his. Uh... See the lean. I'm gonna practice the lean back. Let me just practice yeah. mine for the tournament. Okay, it's like this. That's how you do okay. it. Okay. All right. We see Bishop B. We back. see Bishop B seven. Uh, Bishop G two E six. Castles and Bishop E7. Events is not updating. Hikaru going with D4 in the center. Oh, yeah. See, I got one next month. I'm playing next month. I got to practice my lean back, you know. C5 Maduro hey, Bailey. Telling you. Let's see if live chess is updating because no, Danny uh, Ranch is not. Chess, not yet. Oh, there it is. They have it in live now. Okay, perfect. They move so much smoother in live. Yeah. Okay. Danny Ranch not giving us any... any uh, Moves, unfortunately. C4 but castles, there we go. Yeah. That's better. Uh, we two on the board. Uh, we have 252 on time. We have a minute on time already. It's ridiculous how fast this moves. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of oh, box on it. There we go. Um, give me a second, you guys. Just in this real, real quick. Rook to D1 with some pressure on the file. Maybe Rook D2 and doubly. Putting everything on the D file. What do you do about this knight on C3, though? We need to expose our bishop. Dark square bishop needs to be open somehow on B2. 
Yep. Um, it's not that easy. And maybe you just double the rooks and just like chill. Double the rooks. You have sort of a Maroxy buying position if you play e4 yep. here. Black mm -hmm. probably wants to play b5, so maybe doubling the rooks and playing e4 is a good plan. He plays yeah. queen c2, bishop c6. Okay, that's better. Um, let's see what, uh, what's happening. And queen b7, it seems, by black on the board. Car pushing with e4 in the center. He has to move knight d5 available, because after take, take, the bishop on 5 is... And there he goes, knight d5 in the center. The bishop on c6 will be trapped there. And he's sitting back, taking a sip from his g fuel. On me. Right, yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. All right. So now, it, if Black would take everything, and Braves. take, 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 there must be some trick. I guess he's looking at take, take, and knight d4 maybe with the knight hopping in here. Lots of tactics, and he takes with the bishop. Okay. So Carr is probably going to take with the e pawn. Then he's probably looking at e5. Right, so he has, some, he has more space in the center, but why do I have the two bishops? He will control the light squares. Maybe move like knight h4 and f4 makes sense. I love it. I love it. That's immediately what I was thinking. Knight takes h4, the e g6, and, f4. And indeed, yeah. we see e5 in the center. Beautiful. Uh, and then knight h4, g6, f4. It's very risky. I mean, it feels risky, but yeah, should be enough. Start breaking that stuff open over there. But now we need to rearrange exactly. these rooks. So rook f1 and e1. For sure. Um, so we see um, Hikaru going bishop to c3. Maybe, I'm curious if he wants to stop a5. Yeah. Or like maybe put the bishop here, annoy black a little bit. But it's going pretty pleasant. He's also up uh, 20 seconds on the clock, 120 compared to Dora Bailey's full minute. Rook e1 was played. Rook e8. Rook e2, g6. He's doubling the rooks. Dura Bailey put his bishop on g7. Yes, and Hikaru went knight at d2. Okay, I wonder where that knight is going. Uh, Dura Bailey taking his thing here once again. Hikaru trying to, you know, step, you know, you know kind of trying to increase the trying to increase the pace, putting pressure on Dura Bailey. Yeah, that clock, he under a minute. Hikaru is still 16 seconds before going under a minute. Of course, yeah. there's a, a two five by Dura Bailey. Okay, now a nice idea, a4. Ooh. And now knight b1, a3 to b5, and Hikaru is going for it. I think if the knight lands on there b5, that's going to be uh, huge. Ooh, it's always going to put pressure on his pawn on d6, and there there he goes indeed. Dura there Bailey going knight to b8. He wants to do the same thing, put the knight on b4, but Hikaru will land here first. Or he can also break with f4. He goes queen to d2 first, pressuring the pawn on a5. Ah, nice move. He's stopping this because then that pawn will hang. The rook is no longer defending the pawn. Queen to b6 with Dura Bailey hitting the pawn on b3. Hikaru going knight to a3, sacking the pawn on b3, anyway. and Dura Bailey takes it, knight to b5. Okay, now the queen can C7 easily get trapped. But how exactly? Like, let's say black goes rook to d8. How exactly do you trap this queen? That is a big question. Uh, Dura Bailey taking his time here. He has 19 seconds against 112 for Hikaru. Rook a6 on the board that allows knight to c7, but he does get a lot of pawns. He takes on c4. 7, queen c4 is on the board. Hikaru takes the rook, Dura Bailey recaptures, and Hikaru goes rook b1, trying to penetrate through the queen side, in, hitting the knight b1. on b8. Jeez. Knight d7 makes sense. There's always bishop f1 lurking to hit the queen. Yeah, bishop f1, I was he thinking that's the way that we could trap the queen. But there's knight I mean, d7, and rook e4, wait, I think that's, that's game, that's game. The queen is trapped, the queen oh, is the trapped, there gone. we go. Oh, look at the lean easy back clap, my Easy queen. clap, my queen. He's going rook my to b6, queen. okay, rook takes b6, easy dub, and there we go. He moves a two and a half out of three. Good Yikes. Game. Yikes. The smile. The smile there and the look around. GG, yo. GG, yep. yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Dop City. All right, so Car moves a two and a half out of three. Let's see if we can somehow pull up another game. They got a sign. All right, so there he goes. There. Staying his badge, staying his, his mask. And there we see. Oh, there we have MVL versus Chaparinov. Let's try to pull that one up. Ooh, look at that. Oh, there we go, boys. Here we have it. It's on the board. D7. 
Bishop g5, I MVL trying to push the pawn through. Queen to h4, king to g8, trade on f6, and the city for MVL. Moving to two and a half out of three as well. King g8, and Very nice. after takes, takes his pawn. Cannot be Yeah, y'all see that man in action, guys? Maria. Maria with the work. Shout out to yeah. Maria. Yeah, MVP, right. That's right. Yeah. MVP Let's for see that. if we can pull up uh, Fyro. Fyro, once again in trouble. He has a drawn endgame here against Paul Ternota. That's who uh, Hikaru just played, right? Uh, yes. And yeah. Rook G8. Fyro trying to pull out a win here, but it looks like a draw. I mean, both sides have three pawns, but Farouk has 26 seconds. Black only has nine. It does look more pleasant for white. You know, he's a little bit more advanced. He tries to move the king around. So it's not out of the question that he will win this one. Rook A6 and king F3. But if black defends well, rook E7, rook A6, it should be a draw. Rook A3 as well. Maybe mm -hmm. Fyro should drop the rook back. Uh, rook B6. I wonder why rook A3 was not... Oh, the rook went there. Rook, rook B7. But I think if black just sits here, there's no way to make progress. There Who we have Anish Giri against... Okay, um, I think it's Polish GM. Can't tell what's going on. Let's see if we can pull the one up. Five Giri. Yo, there's Giri on cam, chat. On cam. I, he covers upon a D2, but a check came. I think Anish is winning. He is getting a new queen here. Queen E4. But I can't tell what's going on. Here's game. You can't. Don't think the game is in live, is it? It's not in live. It's in. Uh, you have to be in events, but events is moving slower than cam, much slower. So you have to be. It's just kind of like watching cam is the only thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Anish is gonna get a new queen. Yeah, and he grabs it. Yeah, he knows it's over. And there we go. Anish wins. He moves to. I don't know what it is. Two and a half out of three as well. Now they're always, you know, signing those um, score sheets after they're done. That's what they're they're doing now, in case you're wondering. Mm. Um, and there we have El Magneto. I have oh, no idea what happened. Still playing? Or... No, they just finished. Oh, they just finished. Magnus won. Magnus moves to three out of three. He's crushing it so far. So let's see if Ferruja can somehow miraculously pull out a win. Mm. It should be a draw. I mean, we will simply have, yeah, everything will get traded off. So another draw for Ferruja. I think he's only on... Oh, yeah, he drew. He only made three draws so far. Yeah, it's going to be a draw. There's nothing that can go wrong here. I mean, in an online blitz game, you can still flag your opponent. But here, that's out of the question with a two-second increment. Unless, no you know, you forget about the time for a second. So, yeah, Magnus on three out of three. Car on two and a half. You know, it's a long tournament. I think we'll have 11 rounds today and 10 more tomorrow. But, yeah, Hikaru's still in a perfect start. Uh, Magnus still in a perfect start. Unfortunately, Hikaru managed to recover from that early draw. There's still, and there's still a lot of chess left. They're saying 11, 12 today, 13 today. We we don't know, actually. It looks, yeah. like, a, looks like maybe 11, 12, 13, 15. I have remember. Exactly. Are they going to keep playing? We'll be here all yep. night, chat. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, so this round, I think, has just wrapped up. Um, let's see. Maybe we can do a quick review of the results. Yeah, we can look at results. If they are in. Let's see. No, results are not, not in. Oh, no. Mm. No. We'll have to wait uh, for that. Yeah. I'll try to show them as quickly as they're. I'm literally hitting refresh, but they're not updated just yet. So I guess we'll just have to uh, wait. Oh, it's 12 today and 9 tomorrow. Probably this once again because of logistics. Um, oh, there we have David Howell. Hey, David Howell on camera. Yeah, fellow, fellow co commentator. Nice. Yep. <laughs> Forgot we have that David Howell emote here. <laughs> I forgot all about that. 
I don't know how how he did. I don't know if he's happy or if he's uh, sad. We'll see. But yeah. I forgot about that emo, man. I definitely <laughs> will use that emo more. You know, but yeah, once again, this is this is a marathon. This is a marathon. You know, twenty one rounds. So I think really I think really, you know, he carves experience with these long blitz matches online. So that that experience should count, you know, at some point. Um in the in the last couple of rounds of the day. But let's and endurance, see. yeah. Him streaming for long periods of time, right? Playing chess yep. all day. Yeah, this he's built for this, right? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Once again, yeah, keeping your energy level up is really important in events like this. But um, yeah, I mean, he he is, he is beaten to you know decent GMs, but the the heavy pairings will of course come uh, come soon as well, and that's where he needs to pull through. Too. Yeah, results still not in. Yeah, I refreshed too. I did refresh. I'm not seeing anything. Yeah. yeah, he's still waiting. Yeah. He's still uploading, guys. Um, yeah. Okay, oh, it seems the like the results you are. will not be updated anytime soon. So so we are going to take a short break, but don't go anywhere, you guys. More action coming your way from the World Blitz Chess Championships. And welcome back, everyone, to the World Blitz Championship in Warsaw, Poland. Let's have a quick, let's have a quick look at the results of round three. We see that Magnus won his game. He's still on a perfect score. Grishuk drew with the Black Peas against John Sebastian Christensen. Levan drew. Um, Haik Marty Roshan lost. Lukas van Verreest. Lost to Shevchenko, Fedoseev, Big Fish, Drew, Nodirbeck, the World Rapid Champion, Drew, um, let's say Serrano won against Goreyev, Rasmus Fane, title two is a regular, also still a perfect score. Anyway, and then we see that Hikaru won, Jan Drew, moving the two out of two, MVL, as we saw, he won, moves a two and a half, Anish Giri, moves a two and a half out of three as well, Andrew Tang goes down against Arjun, Shaq wins, and Report loses. Tough, tough, tough. Anyway, let's have a... Yeah, there's no easy pairings in this tournament. So let's have a very quick look at the pairings of round number four. Where we see the Magnus is staying on Sichev on board one. Sevchenko, Sochko, Vahab Sanal against Serana. Rasmus Fana against Denis Karic. And then on board five, Hikaru Nakamura against Abhimanyu Purnik, who we can see sitting, sitting below us. Right, so players are getting ready. I guess we'll start, uh, you know, at the half hour mark, right? So in two minutes. So let's pull up the board. Really oh, you got white again. Nice. Oh, you got white again. Okay. On one hand, that is nice. On the other hand, that might give him later on two black two games blacks. in a row in when mm -hmm. it gets tougher, right? So yeah, that's, that could be difficult. Yeah. I mean, that is. So we'll see how that. <laughs> <coughs> how that's going to play out okay let's uh let's pull the board here because we're getting underway <laughs> you want full game. hd on hikaru's facial expressions yeah that's very yeah. right aqt corrects i mean this is yes you do want that you want that 100 percent. you want that and you're getting it right here uh let's update this real quick Car is a chair. Yes, yes. Oh man, the chat <laughs> well, is great. Thirty five hundred elo from the chat. Car is a chair. Yes, he is. Yep. Yes, oh, and he there is. he comes. There's Ooh, the again. handshake. There you go. Be hype. Be hype. Y'all ready? He just appeared. Uh. Second, updating this as we speak. Okay, and there we go. That should be better. Yeah, ready, Jeff? 
It's game time. Yeah. Recording in progress. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, they on the way. We are getting underway. They on the way. We're making sure this is all recorded, so we can send it on. We can send it later to. Uh, we can use it later. We can use it later. Are being recorded? <laughs> well, yeah. okay. Anyway, and we are underway. Night of three. Night of six. And E3, G6 and C4. The cars are regular in this line between G7 and D4. D6. Is the board? Danny range. Give it, oh, there we go. Oh, D6 let's go to board. live. So it might be up in live now. Let me just check. It is. It's in live. It moves faster in live. Yeah, they're already in live. They're on move five. In events, they're on move two. Now they're on move five. This should be two. Movements. Anyway, um, let's see what's happening on the board. So Ikaro plays this very, very often in Blitz games. Uh, mm -hmm. Very often Knight G4 happens. But these positions generally tend to be better for white. <clears throat> Knight C3 happens, white ta uh, black takes. And after castles, Queen D2, Rook A D1. I've seen him win a lot of games here against our boy Danya. You know, white generally just has a nice grip over the D5 square. So I think white is just a little bit better here. I really like these positions actually shows too. that. Yeah, that's yeah. actually um um Jakob Norwich actually has this uh this he calls this uh the Dacha uh cheesecake, King's Indian cheesecake is what he would call uh -huh. this system here. Is uh he would play this actually and exactly that Queen D2, Rook A to D1 and Rook F to D1, or Rook uh, yep. Rook A to C1, Rook F to D, Rook A to D, Rook F to E, whatever it's combination. And, yep. and it just works out, it's just healthy and easy for white to play. Indeed, yeah, it's just easier for white to play. Indeed, we see trade in f3, another knight coming to e5, and Hikaru drops the bishop back to e2. Pluronik taking a thing here. Hikaru still has almost three minutes on his clock, or Pluronik has like 213. So that is a good sign for Hikaru. Bishop to e6 on the board. He's gonna go rook 81. I know, I know Hikaru. <laughs> I've seen him play this position many times. I goes rook fd1. Almost the other on c. Yeah. So you, are we thinking about uh, knight to d5 usually? And I'm thinking a b4 push as well. a4, maybe yeah. just expand the whole queen side. Indeed. And sometimes you go f4, kick this knight back, go bishop to f4. But then the pawn on e3 can become a little bit weak. We see Purne going h5, gaining space on that side of the board. Hikaru jumping in with knight to d5. <clears throat> now, black can take, but then after the trade, this pawn on c7 is on, uh, can become backwards and white can easily attack it with the rook here. Poor Nick going h4 as we see. Maybe f4 by Karu or just h3. Stop. You don't want to allow h3. Right? That allows right. all the counterplay in the world. But on the other What happens here? Tell the chat, Pac. What happens here? If we take on d5 and, and then we try to get rid of the d pawn by moving the c pawn, what happens? <laughs> if black goes c5, believe it or not, why can go en croissant? Wow. It is forced. It is forced. Wow. Okay. Yeah, guys, don't believe that. It's not worse. Yeah. Don't do that. Um, but as we see, quite a pleasant position here for Ikaru. He goes rook ac1. He's anticipating this trade because then, once again, black, white will have pressure towards his pawn on c7. a4, b4, a3, bishop a1 is on the board. I don't know. I feel like that inclusion should favor Hikaru, but let's see. Bishop a1. If this pawn later on drops off, black will have a pawn that is already far advanced, so there will be something to look out for. But I think overall this one is progressing in the right way. Look at the bishop on a1, you know. I mean, yeah. just chilling, right? Sniping on that just diagonal. Chilling, I'm liking that. The and bishop all again, the way on a1. Indeed. And once again, if we have a look at the clock, we see that he Hikaru still is 2.30 on the clock. And black is 120. That is definitely a good sign for Hikaru. You know, it's like it, it really is sometimes disrespectful how he does people on the clock here. So that's yeah. like, yo, that's ridiculous, bro. He's up two minutes on the yeah. clock. It's really disrespectful. Yeah, I, I once remember a story of a friend of mine who played in uh, in Aeroflot, right? And after the Aeroflot classical tournament is over, there's always a blitz tournament. And he said, "Yeah, I played Yanapom Niachi, and I." I really had no idea what's going on, but the guy sacrificed like three pawns in a row, and I ended I ended up being checkmated, and the guy still had something like three twenty. 
on the clock. Well, you start with Jeez. three minutes. Starting with three minutes. That just hurts. It hurts like, yeah. I don't even want to play this game no more, man. I'm like, yeah, Indeed. stick to stick to what you know. Yeah. So expect Charles. Hikaru to trade, and then he can also go Rook C4, pressuring this pawn on H4, doubling up. Everything is looking very, very pleasant here. I see and so much once again, it, Jan, with a Y. Bach, did you see Twitter uh, usually uh, with Jan's name? Jan's name now is this, spelled with a Y. He did it himself. Huh. He, he, really? He get, yeah, he, he recently just changed it to a Y. And Maybe so, because he doesn't want people to call him Ian and just Jan. Yeah, because I saw that. I was like, wow. He, like, Why is it a yeah. Y there now? And he did it. It's his page. It's funny. Yeah. And queen f6, rook c1 is on the board. And once again, this pawn on c7 is under huge pressure. Queen to b2 could be a move, but we see Pornik reaching for the rook, probably contemplating. Okay, rook e7. Can white take? That is a big question. Right. right. Black will take, take. If check. Just take it. Rook c1. I think it is a free pawn, unless there's some trick. Queen b2, rook c2. King a2, queen e5, right. f4. What is he cooking up here? Like, what if he card just takes a pawn? I don't see it. But we'll probably find out shortly. 20 seconds for Puranik, 2 minutes for Ikaru. We see him thinking here. Puranik he doing the manka. Hmm. <laughs> and Hikaru takes a pawn. We see a trade on C7. Yeah, there it is. Now we see Yep by Puranik. He goes Queen, a, Queen of B2. Once again, you don't want to take that Rook C2 by Ikaru dropping back. Okay. He's got rook c2 and we chilling. This is a wrap. Queen a1 check, off king, the board. H king h2. And what do you do? H2? Queen e5, Indeed. not a move. It's not a move. It is a move, but you just go f4, right? It's f4. It's just Indeed. F4. It's rook, he goes queen is c1. Queen e5 by Pornik trying to hang on, hitting the pawn here. Hikaru went rook to d2 to defend rook a4 on the board. Hikaru played rook to d4, nice, mm, defending everything. Right. Also hitting this, by the way. Oh, Poor nice. Nick dropped the rook all the way back. Queen c7. That's kind of scary. The pawn if he wants to. I could grab that boy. He goes queen to c3, stabilizing. Nice move. g5 by Poor Nick. King of 1 by Karu. Bring the king a little bit closer to the end game. This is not a move. He... Poor Nick going king h6. Thought it was a blunder for a second, but the queen is defended. Her thing is time. He's going rook to d3. Queen f5 by Pornik. Um, Monka, huh? Rook c8 also comes into the position. Yeah, that is the air. Six Ooh, seconds though for Pornik. E4 here. by Hikaru. Wait, take. Why is it? That is a glitch. He took an e4. There, he oh. took an e4. The queen is on e4. Right, Just chat. imagine that the queen is here. Never Use your see. imagination. You didn't see anything. King g1. Still Let's black is no time. It. Rook to e8. Eh. Shoot. This one is not going his way. <laughs> and he's shaking his head. Crazy. He's going rook to d1. Once again, but he still has a time advantage. Queen e5. But Pornik taking on a3. Okay. Queen e2. Hitting the rook. And Ikaru is staying his time. Rook f1, I'd assume. We just defend. We just defend. Queen b Yeah. He has to go rook f1. He goes queen to b3. Okay. Yeah. Trying to keep the position. Rook e5 by Pornik. Kara went rook f1, queen d2. And he went queen f6, and something happened. Okay, black took here, check here, and a4. Oh, we got the space. B we got the. Yeah, it's too many threats. B6. B6 is on the board here. Let me see. Let me watch the live. Hurting his time. Live. Wait, queen is c7 hitting the pawn there queen of d4 a5 or queen c2 is also nasty a5 on the board take take take, take. and g4 by Pornik. trying Ooh. to blast open Icaro's king but there is a move like queen c2 which is very nasty we yeah, see a queen trade c2, yeah queen c2 is beautiful and then pin and queen like, c3 anyway, both down to like no time living off the increment don't blunder the queen do you have to go queen c6? Uh, shoot, shoot, Three. shoot, shoot. Everything was traded off here. Peace. It's going to be a draw. Oh my goodness. Sad. Dang. I... 
Mm-hmm. Crazy ending there. Another draw. Crazy ending. What happened? It was time. Is there anything you can blame that on this time? Tough. Yeah, he had a good position. He had the time, but unfortunately, he squandered his advantage. Um, it is what it is. Let's see if we can see any other games. Magnus won again, moving to four out of four. Magnus yeah. with a tub. Dang, Magnus four out of four. Anybody else four yet? Oh, wait. Uh, they didn't update over here. So mm -hmm. let me check over here. Go back to events. Yeah. Let's go to events and let's see what happened over there. Um, all right, so this was round number four. We see El Magneto winning. Bartosz Sochko beat Kirill Sashenko with the black pieces. A draw here. <coughs> Rasmus Fana winning. Car unfortunately a draw. MVL loses to Vidi. Uh, Ferruja gets his first win on the board. I think he moves to two and a half out of four. Anish Giri drawing with Madlakov. <coughs> um, Shakriar wins. Levan gets a win on the board. Fedoseev wins. Thank you for that. Um, I went over these results. Let's see. I don't think there's any more games going on. On right, I mean, I mean if had a save yeah, wins. Are, oh, okay, these are updated. This is They're a draw. Updated, uh, this one not updated yet. Right, I think most results are flowing in. We see Duda drawing his game. Um, no, you're back. I checkmate it. Oh, wait, yeah, but it I feels did. like he hung his rook. Oh, but wow. if you take that, then there's queen h7 and you pick up Ooh. the queen on h1, as we all saw. Um, Blitz is a different animal here. I'm indeed. not even familiar with this uh, Grandmaster here, but um, he, uh, yeah. I mean, hey, <laughs> anyone's vulnerable, man. This is different. That's me, and it's 3 2 as well, right? Three minutes for sure. Increment. Yeah, I think this round is wrapping up, but there's probably still this game still going on. I mean, the board supports are not updating Jeez. or. Oh, yeah, there is a Or game they're here. updating too, too slowly. So yeah, one is Rook Bishop versus Rook comes over here. We got a few games left. Yeah, a fortunate draw there for Hikaru. Uh, he definitely should have won this game. I mean, up like two minutes on the clock. He had a good position, but mm -hmm. fortunately, um, he couldn't figure out the right moves, and the game ended in a draw. Three out of four, not a disastrous result. Not as a not a disastrous result. But I think in 2019, uh, Magnus and Ikaru tied with someone like 16 and a half out of 21. So they only dropped four and a half points. So you really cannot drop uh, too many, uh, too many points. So he's got to, you know, keep up the pace. So two draws so far, right? And a win. Two and a, two and a win. Yeah, uh, two wins, two draws. Two wins, two so draws. So he will probably play. Uh, yeah, with black, he is definitely playing with the black piece in the next round. Black Let's see if we sure, have yeah. the results anywhere. No results are not in yet, but we went we went over most of those. Um, so we'll just have to uh, we'll just have to wait. Let's see. Let's see if we updated the results. Yeah, El Magneto still in a perfect score. I think Rasmus Fana, <clears throat> he's also in a perfect score. Question, will, like, it will be tough, of course, if Hikaru gets into a position where he will have to beat Magnus in their direct encounter, right? Um, I mean, it would be good if he can, you know, still afford a draw against Magnus and then, you know, just rake in many wins uh, in his other games. Yeah, just make up his, rake up as many wins as possible. Just getting ready for right, Magnus, MVL is another one, and Ferruja. Yeah. Right, you know? And of course, I mean, everyone is on target. <laughs> Anyone yeah. can be hot here and catch you off guard or something crazy happens. Indeed. Yeah, no, the thing is really that yeah, you can drop too many points before the, the encounters and against like Magnus, against MVL, Geary, all those guys, especially when you're playing with the black pieces because then... I mean, you can't really expect to win all of those games, right? So 
just has to rake in a lot of wins here against the, uh, you know, against the like 2600 GMs. Um, but with all that being said and done, you guys, we are going to be taking a very short break, but don't go anywhere. We will be right back with more action from the World Blitz Championship. Welcome back, everyone, to the World Blitz Championships in Warsaw, Poland. Hikaru is up in this round against Clementi Sichev, and, and we see the players there shaking hands. And we are going to be underway shortly. Uh, Kanti, what do you think of this pairing against the Russian GM? Uh, well, number one, uh, you said it exactly how it is. You know, whoever it is, whenever, however it is, you said the Russian GM. So that right yep. there is to tell you what's about to happen. It's a lot of a lot of action, some Russian chess. Nothing that Nakamura hasn't you know faced before, but it yeah. is a uh, definitely some stiff competition always when you trust it facing the Russian Grandmaster. So we'll see Indeed. it. We're gonna see it right here. That blitz chess over the board, and we got the cam for the chat. Indeed, and yeah, indeed, the Russian schooling. We're gonna see how that is gonna go against uh, Hikaru. In the back, we see uh, Anish Giri. He we saw the cam showed earlier. He was playing. He's playing against Gre Grigory Oprim, and now an arbiter or whoever that is block is uh, blocking the camera. We see Sichev looking into the camera from time to time. It's like uh, he's giving a little manka s look. Also <laughs> in the back, we see Jan Pomniachi against Vahab Sanal uh, with his infamous spider sweater. Maybe to, maybe to scare off his opponents. I, I, can, I can try to pull up a picture later to show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, also some noteworthy note pairings in this round is Duda versus Andrew Tang and Feruja against Nicolas Theodoru. Two players Hikaru is uh, very familiar with. Let, let's put it that way. And we see a Nimzo with Bishop the F4. I've never, never seen this life. line. In my life, Bach. Ever, ever, ever. What yeah. is this? I have no idea. We saw castles. <laughs> Queen B3 and A5 by Hikaru. Hikaru still played this move fairly quickly. And A3 is on the board. He took, takes, and goes A4, Russian, fixing the queen Russian side. Indeed, school. that Russian chess school. Preparation. The heck is yeah. Bishop F4? Yeah. Hikaru sitting back, looking slick. A and, new move. Uh, right, sure. it's like he invented a new move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. F3 on the board by White, trying to expand with E4. Uh, E4, that's why Hikaru strikes in the center with D5. Man. All right. I wonder, like, who would ever... We see C5 on the board. Who would ever play chess in a suit? Like, normally everyone takes a jacket off. I feel like that makes you hey, way you know too... They like teaching over way there. too that stiff, you know. School, man, he don't care. Yeah. Bishop F4 got my suit jacket on playing blitz chess. You need to watch this guy. Indeed. Watch this guy. Yeah. And Actually, they did say, uh, "Let's get a board." Oh, you got the flip. There it is. Perfect. Yeah. Flip. Uh, probably Carl wants to go for a quick bishop a6, trying to trade up the bishops. White could take at some point, trying to get control over the c file. Let's see how this one is gonna progress but he kind of needs a win here i feel he's a point back and he can get the gap with magnus get too big so let's see what's going to happen bishop a6 on the board I like that bishop a6 getting rid of that nice bishop he has yeah and then white trades on a6 he is going to capture with let's see with the knight or with the rook both back both captures look completely uh fine um, the question is, where do we want to put the knight? But I know it increases the pressure on yeah. c5. And then even knight d7 comes around. Maybe c6, knight d7. That pawn on c5 is looking kind of weak. But you do have bishop yeah. d6 there, don't you? It's kind of weird. Indeed. So he takes with the rook. Takes with the rook. Yeah, logical move. Um, let's see. White takes on b6. Now, once again, you don't want to take with the rook because then bishop takes c7. So he takes with the pawn and knight e2 by white. Ikaru going b5, expanding on the queen side. Castles, knight c6. This should be fine for the big man. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fine. He's going to put the rook on c6 and maybe uh, develop, put the knight on c4. Ooh, very yeah. nice. That'd be very nice. If black can get a knight a5 to c4 or to b3, rook c6. Some very nice plans there indeed. So, yeah, let's see how this one is going to progress. I, I do expect castles from white. White is sitting back. Um, he's reaching for the queen, maybe queen d3. Yeah, hitting the pawn on b5. This could be a difficult move to deal with, right? You first have to protect this pawn. Maybe just rook b6 by Icaro and then moving the knight out of the, out of c6. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. 
Yeah, we got to defend. And you want to do it the most accurate so you don't waste Tempe doing this. Yeah. Or put pieces on the wrong squares that don't need to be there. For instance, the rook on a6 doesn't need to be there. Yeah. But it also doesn't want to be on b6 either. It really wants Indeed. to be on, on c6. But rook b6 temporary here. So rook to c1 with bishop c7 is yeah. parried so out. Knight c6. Knight of c3 hitting the pawn. Oh, and Hikaru played you know. queen of d7 to guard. Okay. Yeah. I think if a couple moves happen here, this will be quite pleasant for Ikaru. Like castles, knight c6. Can I take will always be the question. But then he can later break with b4, and then the pawn on b2 will be target. So let's see. Knights, is knight c6 possible, or can I take the pawn? I can't. Correct. Uh, what what if you tell. just take... He does it. It's there. Oh, he does it. Board. It is there. So the critical line. He takes it. Well, I guess... Yeah. He just paid 95, huh? And Dude, notice how back. Hikaru is always up on the clock. He's, he is just a little under two minutes and white is 118. He takes the pawn on b5. Knight a5 by Hikaru. Nice move hitting the knight yeah, now with the rook and the queen. Yep, perfect. Knight can swing the, knight can swing the c4. b2 will be under attack. This is looking great. Knight c3 on the board. Snap on knight c4. And what do you yeah, do? And there he goes. We can go knight c4 immediately. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still in shock that c Chef is playing in a suit. Rook AB1. You don't care, man. Look, that kind of guy. Rook B3. Karu increasing the pressure. No. The reason being in Bach usually, though, is because, like, you, you knock pieces over. Your sleeves knock pieces over. So it's actually, a lot of times, it's and it's uncomfortable, too. It's not the most comfortable playing. Yeah, like, it's a lot to like we see, we see, we see Hikaru, right? He's wearing, he had a jacket, but he, he took, took it off. off. Right, and... you understand. Yeah, it's just difficult to... Uh, so queen e2 by Sichev on the board, defending the pawn. Um, let's see. Now you can't play here because that hangs a rook. You can't play here because that hangs a pawn. So Karu is to come with some, something. All, so only 27 seconds for white. Maybe knight h5 is nice. Because if you remove this bishop, then I go rook fb8 and your entire queen set is going to collapse. Oh, beautiful. It goes Absolutely. h6. Making oh, sure you can never get g5, back. I guess. After knight h5, by, weird. Three by white, but now knight h5 is not a move due to bishop h2. Keeping the bishop on the diagonal. That's kind of annoying. So maybe, I mean, we could take on a3. Is that possible to take on a3 and take on c3? I mean, it is a pawn, but... Right. But I wonder who will favor that transition. Okay, maybe Karo... rook c8, then take on a3, then take on c3. Yeah. yeah. I like rook c8, you know, just improving another piece. Yeah, I mean, it's domination of the position here. Goes rook c8 on the board. E4. Yeah. yeah, rook c8. Yeah, rook c8 is nice. And e4 now is a very king h1 on. by yeah, wide. That, that seems like a panicky move. Like, why king h1? It doesn't really just take indeed. Spink city. And if here. Thanks for the gun drop. Still no easy tactics because if you drop back, then a4 hangs. 22 seconds right, 48 for Ikaru. He goes queen, the c6 increasing the pressure. Is this more pressure? Why not? We don't have to take right yeah. now. Sichev looking a little bit nervous there. He knows he's getting low on the clock. He's go rook f to c1 and queen a6. Karu probably trying to cook up some tactics on the diagonal. Rook, wait, what happened? King h2, rook c6, and e4 by white, striking in the center. Okay. Can he take here? B2. Knight h5. Wait, he went knight h5 Ooh, hitting the bishop. Knight h5 action. I love it. I love it. That Wait, white b5 is hanging. There's a lot of three, stuff. But on. white's king will be wide open, like for tactics. Oh, those? I mean, don't even think Big about take. that. White has only five seconds. 22 for Ikaru. He plays rook back to c8. E, d5 is on the board. Mm. Check. King f, f4 and ed. This is on the board. Uh, why went queen to g4 hitting the rook? Rook to c7 by Karu. Wait, why made it with king h2 back? Ikaru goes knight takes b2, chopping off the pawn. Wait, I think white's collapsing here. White played knight e2, knight d3 or something. Queen c8 check. Real quick, move that back. Oh, and he. Wait. 
This, this, and 93 is on the board. Where, where, where does the queen go? White went queen to c6. 93, queen, yeah. We saw a trade on rook to d2. 12 seconds. Wait, how do you deal with that attack? 12 seconds for Ikaru. He played... 19. Uh, knight to c3. Take king back and rook to d2. Hitting the pawn. d5 by white. Now, if you take... your No, wait, then rook d6. Then rook d6. No, no. What's I going on? Oh, should. Okay. Carl was he gets a lot presses. of pawns here. Spinkers, give me those. Check up. Push. Push. This probably what is going on enough. right now? Oh, my goodness. He's on G6. Looks over. Takes those two. It's probably just a draw, but it's not over until it's... Yeah. Oh, goodness, come on. Oh, and Magnus lost, though. Wow. I'm getting worried that from the chat. Magnus lost. That is good news. That is good news. Magnus lost. But shoot, yeah. We see him visibly, visibly be annoyed here. Figure out where he went wrong. And a draw. Hey, oh, man. I... Oh, man. He mad. You can tell. You don't like me when I'm angry. Yeah. Right. Uh, tough, tough. Yeah, he's mad. Let's see wait, what went wrong. Yeah, yeah taking up. this okay. pawn, rook d6 was a critical yeah, mistake. He about to turn up. Watch this. He about to turn up. I... He about to turn up. Tough, That's tough, it takes tough. Yeah. Do you guys That's spam good. enough flowers? Do you guys spam enough flowers? Do you guys give Hikaru the energy he needs? That's right. That's right. We, we got to put it back on the chat. You know, yes. Yeah. It's always about them. It's exactly. This is your fault. fault. It is always chat's fault. We win, chat's yeah. fault. We lose, chat's fault. We yeah. draw, chat's fault. Chats. Indeed. Yeah. It's on you, you guys. You got to keep, you got to give them that energy. Now, I think the five would have never happened if those, if the chat was full of it flowers. Was You're right. You're right. I mean, Damn. look, Bach, I didn't want to say it, but I mean, it's, you said it first. Yeah. I think. He only considered white going into the rook end game, which is winning, because then he hits this. But unfortunately, there was a move rook d6, and then you lose the knight. So, yeah, tough, tough. It looked very good for him, very, very promising. Also, Sichev being very low on the clock, but yeah. another draw here. But Magnus drew, so he's no, only he, half oh, he a drew? point. Oh, I thought he lost. Oh, wait, wait, sorry, he lost, he, he lost, lost, right? Oh, okay. Magnus yeah, yeah. lost, yeah, he was getting checkmated here. Wow. If king up check here and sachko the local hero on a perfect score five out of Man, five took a l damn he took a l bro yeah that's great for hikaru to be honest i mean it's literally excellent yeah no that's, that's indeed magnus different. magnus is his um main rival let's see if we can yeah. pull up uh ferocious game somewhere we see that grishuk won looks crushing to be honest I mean, yeah, it's just crushing through here. So Grishuk, yeah, with a crushing win. Um, so Grishuk won. I don't know what score that puts him. I think maybe still a perfect score, like 5 out of 5. I was just about no, to say, Grishuk, who is perfect still? Grishuk is on 4.5. Only Sachko. Only Sachko is on 5 out of 5. I mean, how many y'all would have said he would be first, right? After this many rounds, who, would, who had him as the pick, right? Yeah. This is a lot of hard competition, guys. And uh, Shakriar beat Vidit, as we can see here. Then we also have uh, Duda beating Andrew Tang, Penguin GM. Um, and let's see if we can pull up more games. Oh, and Ferruja beats Nicholas Theodoro. Nicholas Thor okay. Theodoro, also known as Criari. Uh, Hikaru has yes. played him quite a lot in online chess. So let's see if um, we have any other games to uh, to pull up. Yeah. Okay. Let's just let's try it. Let's move around in, in events. I'm scrolling around. Yeah. So El Magneto got checkmated. Uh, Shagir of wins. Grishak beats Rasmus Vane. Shakriar beats Vidit. 
um, Aronian going down against Abby Manuel Pernik, Carl's opponent wow. from the last round. But yeah, it is unfortunate. It feels like in the last two games, Hikaru got borderline. I mean, he got very good positions, but he wasn't able to finish them off. So let's hope he his conversion will be better in the next couple of rounds. Yeah, that'd be yeah. great. Because I mean, that that could have been two extra points here, which have been shoot. I Four mean, maybe clear first or just... something, right? Close, yeah. close. I think five. Some yeah, five. His um, Sachiko here still would have been better. Yeah, with the top, uh... top dog score. Indeed. We see Feta Safe Big Fish winning. Artemiev gets a dub. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here he covers draw. Fortunately, doesn't show. Uh, Anish. Anish drew with the black piece against Greg Operin. So you draw here between Madlakov and Dubov. MVL draws Antipov. Why is there still a game going on? I guess this game came to an end, but I can't tell. I think the uh, I think the round is wrapping up, but let's see if there's any no noteworthy results. Uh, we see Marty Rojan taking Harsha for a hike. I uh, beat him with the black pieces. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that is really it. For the note, uh, noteworthy uh, results. Yeah. Still, a lot, still a lot of chess left. Though. I mean, they still got, we have another oh. six. Wait, did we left. lose? There we go. Should something happen here? A big man can't see. Oh, hey, I'm on. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hey, y'all, what's good? How y'all doing? We had a little glitch so, there. Can't be big. <laughs> what's good, good? Yeah, there we go. Um, I think I can turn my camera off and turn it back on. No, no, no. Um, Switch it. <laughs> that might have been easier. Shoot. Chat. Auto, wait, give me a second. Yeah, can you try doing that? Turn the camera off? Let's uh, yeah, let's see if that works. Uh, yeah. Did it work? Well, give me a second. Well, it seems like it did. Did it work? Uh, I think so. Wait, just, just hold on. It worked. Chat sounds worth it. Light people candy. That came in clutch. I thought I had to, you know, redo everything over again. No, nah, yeah, I we're learned good. how we're to. Good. I learned that from uh, the homies at the Icaru, yeah. the school of Icaru. Yeah. They teach you <laughs> techni yeah, technical stuff, drawing arrows, how to calculate in the air, you know. Yeah. Pretty good. The OPS school. Yeah. All right, but fortunately, we are good indeed. Um, yeah, let's see. Um, I think this round is about to wrap up. So this wraps up round number five. We are going to be taking a, uh, a very, very short break. But don't go anywhere, you guys. More action coming your way from the FIDA World Blitz Chess Championship in Warsaw. We'll see you guys after the break. Welcome back, everyone, to the World Blitz Chess Championships. And we have Hikaru playing with the black piece against Pentala Hare Krishna. Kanti, what do you uh, make of this matchup? Uh, Hare Krishna is very, very strong. Uh, we know him from uh, being one of the top dogs in India over there. He is no joke and uh forced to be reckoned with to say the least so hikaru knows who he's playing and he's gonna just you know do his work precision do what we have to do play solid and maybe take some risk if we have to but he he has a job to do and he knows uh pentalis is a force to be reckoned with look at him look at him you see look how he, yeah. he's intense he's ready yeah right now no moves on the board already focused 
Indeed, and yeah, we see that Pentala or Krishna is rated 26.14 in Blitz Chess, which is a little bit low for him. In the Classical, he's rated over 2,700. Uh, so maybe a bit of an unlucky pairing there for Hikaru, but the players are getting ready. I think we're going to start in like one minute. I'm sure Hikaru will try to win this game with the black piece. I mean, he has to get in it, so I don't think he, he should play Berlin. He should definitely go out here to try and win. Like, he's, he's one and a half points back. He has to try to win. All right, maybe try to take him out of book two as well because uh, Pentel is yeah. very, very booked up. I mean, many, 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 many uh, courses I've seen from him, courses and, bo and books and some stuff that he's written, and et cetera. But Pentel has yeah. a lot of stuff out, and he's uh, uh, very good with it, obviously. So, Ricardo, I think he's going to take him out of book here. It just depends on what he plays. If E4, D4, not sure. You know, we'll see. So, maybe some C4. Hopefully, take him out of yeah. book, and hopefully we can get a good game. But... Uh, feels like looks like Pentel is a little bit nervous there. You can see some nerves from both players. Oh, you can tell. And we are off. Game's we see E four on the board. Car going for E five. Knight of three. Knight of C six. There should be five. Okay, and he's going A six. Probably he's going for his G six self. Okay, he goes D six. C three by White. Bishop D seven by Hikaru. And expect that. Yeah, like I said, he will later transpose into uh, lines with G six and Bishop G seven. Uh, Car taking his time. He goes g6. Yep, nice. there we go. And Four. once again, guys, give him your energy. He's one and a half points back. He needs to get in it. Spam that flower to give him your power, and also toss in your prime to make Hari Krishna take his time. Time, time, time. Prime to the time, baby. Let's go. Castles g7 is on the board. There's a lot of options Six. here. You can play more traditional rookie seven. There's also the move bishop to g5, and we see Car develop his knight. To f6. I think. Wait, is there. Maybe there is a line where white can take an e5. But if you want to make the position mm. very dry, white yeah. can also just go something like h3, castles, and then knight d2 to play more traditionally. But we see, you know, Harry Krishna taking his time, so that is good. Toss in your prime to take him, let him make uh, more time. Bishop g5 by Harry Krishna. Okay. These castles, right? Or take the oh, probably not captures. Yeah, right. Okay, H6. it is kind of getting dicey with e5. Yeah, maybe h6. Yeah. Kick that boy up out of there. And bishop h4. h4. Yeah. Carl has some options now. He could decide to go g5 and then maybe go after the bishop with knight h5. Or just or indeed just, just castle. That would be the traditional move. I wonder what Icaro is uh what tr what Harry Krishna is planning there. Maybe just to follow up with knight d2. He's but actually very comfortable too with the bishop on g7. B5 played, by the way. Yeah, b5. I like the move. Actually, there is some sort of tactic after, let's say, bishop b3, which is on the board. He car castles. If white goes knight to d2, white has to reckon with stuff like pawn takes d4, and after it takes g5, bishop g3, and g4. If you move your knight, I take here. So maybe that's one of the reasons why Harry Krishna preemptively takes an e5. Let's see how Icaro is going to recatch with the knight or with the pawn. Question. Knight takes or pawn takes? I do yeah. like the knight takes. Because I get some extra space, yeah. but then I have a back backward pawn on d6. I can't yeah. really push c5 and use the space as much yet. Yeah. I like pawn takes as well. Uh, knight takes for the simple reason that the knight would be kind of stuck here on c6. And now, after it takes, we can grab space with the move c5. Now, the position is fairly symmetrical, but he covers up half a minute on the clock. He can expand on the Queen side with a move like c5, but uh, a4, a4, a4 by Hare Krishna, putting pressure on the queen side. Queen e7 looks very natural. You make way for your rook, and it's on the board. Um, Off the back yeah. rank development for White, knight a3, knight yep. g2. Yeah, on b5 all those first. moves make sense. He takes on b5. He car recaptures. We see a trade on a8, and. He, Harry Krishna goes knight d2 to develop. Okay, so once again, fairly even, but Hikaru is, uh, he knows these types of positions where we see trade happen on e5 from, you know, King Zinian, King Zinians, or, you know, from his modern, or these types of reload passes. Let's see how he's going to continue here. Maybe maybe just move like c6, strengthening the position a little bit. What do you think, uh, Kanti? In fact, I was reading the chat here too. As the chat is first off putting the power out there, the flower power we love it, spamming the chat. That's excellent. Secondly, there some say uh, it feels like a draw ski, which is definitely um, in classical. This would definitely feel sort of that way, especially with the symmetrical pawn structure. 
but in blitz and being up some time here, things definitely different. So not draw just yet. I think uh, Black has some some potential to make some queen side weaknesses, maybe even running a pawn up to c4, trying to get b4 in as well. And then uh, maybe trying to play g5, still try to get the bishop, knight h5, bishop g3, and rerouting the bishop from g7 to maybe c5. Yeah, no, 100%, yeah. And uh, whoever thinks it's going to be a draw is a doubter, and what do we do with doubters? We send them to the door. Guys, only energy here. Spam that flower. He needs... He needs you guys more than ever. King h7 on the board. Attack, come on. Harry Krishna played knight f1. Well, probably he wants to rewrite the knight e3. But after we play c6, the knight is really really not going anywhere. Because f5 is covered. D5 is covered. We see Kara playing rook to d8. Lining it up with the queen. I guess the queen is going to move to e2 or c2. Then I'm curious to see how he's going to proceed. He could... I mean, you don't want to play g5. Because then when the knight lands on e3, f5 is weak. See Queen E2 by Harry Krishna. It is a bit symmetrical though. Hikaru also has one minute, ten seconds on the clock. They're even on time. Let's see how he will try to create chances here. But it it is fairly even. C6, Definitely. solid move. Mm -hmm. Not even any weaknesses in either position here. I mean, maybe F7 and F2 respectively for both yeah. sides. And the fact yeah. that Black has pushed his pawns in front of the king. Yeah, Harry Krishna going rook to D1, rook A8. By Hikaru. Maybe f3 so you can move your knight out. He goes knight e3 right away. Okay, so bishop e6, Hikaru going for the trade. So then later on he can enter with his rook on a2. Nice Any move. Any four second. Any four. Bishop takes, queen takes. Right, indeed. After the, yeah, he gets out of the pin. Why can take, but then the knight on e3 is lacking any prospects and black's bishop should be better. Uh, we see Harry Krishna playing queen c2, sliding the queen over. Let's yeah. see what Icaro will no, do here. It's not there yet. Takes, takes. Oh, I'm so close to winning this pawn. Takes, takes, g5. Knight takes, e4. He goes king, g8, and h3 is on the board. Yeah, he cool. could... Mm, if you take, take, and g5, it looks like it's winning a pawn, but there's knight f5. He does take, and he does play g5. Okay, but knight f5 now. What do we do? Maybe just back it up with queen, e8. Harry Krishna... I think knight f5 is a move. Kind of has to. Otherwise, but if the bishop moves, we take an e4. That is progress. Well, that's that exactly. Is good. Like, that pawn is there, bro. I got to take those, right? But then yeah. you write that, that that compensation with knight f5 is super annoying. And I was trying to figure out where he was going to put his queen. He put it on e8. e8, so, yeah. Okay. And knight d6 by Hare Krishna on the board. Queen e6 by Hikaru. But now I can take, and e4 is protected. So bishop g3 is hitting the pawn on e5. Haru leaning in. Rook d8 though. Rook d8 looks tricky. Creating a pin. Rook a2. Tagging the queen side. Car taking his time. He goes. Rook to d8. It's on the board. Now, it is there. If white takes an e5, I think knight. Not knight. Knight takes e4. Or 94. 94, indeed. Yeah, knight takes e4. So maybe rook d2. So why can't him pin himself later on? Harry Krishna did play rook to d2. But then bishop f8. Knight takes. Takes, but takes, takes. I guess four is e4. always there. He goes well, I mean, e4 is just going to hang anyway. Knight h5 then? No. There should be 5 on the board. Karu. Then with d7. Wait, I think he's, he still could take he goes knight e4. e8. But is he not oh, just down a pawn here right. after bishop g7? Here Krishna takes rook takes d6, but eh. 8 seconds. Trading oh, everything in no h6 hangs. Take, take. Shoot, he's just down a pawn fighting for a draw. I... Dang, no. 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 Let's hope he will at least hang on here. C4, closing down the queen side. King G6, take, take. No. King F2, no. definitely. He... Dang, bro. He should be able to hold it, but <laughs> even this is not easy. It. He goes G4, and Knight F6, trading off some pawns. But why could always recapture with the king and get a created passer? King h4 was chosen by Hare Krishna. Take, take, knight of d7. King g3, he goes knight h5 check. Let's hope he can mm -hmm. flag him by miracle yeah. knight of 6. King h4, knight d7, that's a twofold. King g3, not looking happy. See the hat check, knight of 6. Yeah, he's still shaking. D2. Knight H5 check. Knight H5. King 
King h4, knight f6. Wait, knight e7 is a threefold. Knight e7 is a threefold. Oh, it is? Pretty sure knight it is seven. a threefold. When he plays knight e7, king g4, knight knight check. Yeah, yeah, and he draws yeah, a yeah, green. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. No AL. Better than an L, but yeah. Satch, we. Oh, yeah. Magnus getting we hit again. The win there. Oh, my goodness. What is going El on? L Magneto Mag? against Ferrosev. Let's pull it up. Hold on. Where is. Uh, oh, Magnus. Magnus. He's low. He's losing. The rooks are about to get traded off. And then Big Fish gets a queen. Another loss for Magnus. He gets hit. And oh, 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 man. Walks in this room. Tough. We have the world champion. Yeah. Getting knocked out. Left so, and right. This round. That round. Wow. So. Even though Hikaru does not have the desired start, no. neither does Magnus. They are both on four out of six. Uh, once again, guys, this is a marathon. Fifteen more rounds to be played. Right. Six more, I believe, today. Marathon. And we see Maria moving around the camera. It's going to be a big shout-out to her for the live footage. Oh, and we have Duda, Duda versus and, uh, some Velter Sahakyan. Uh, oh, why blunder yeah. the rook? Sag. Oh, so do that one. The ma last move, King D4, was probably a resignation. Once again, you put the kings on D4 and E5 on the dark squares to signal that black one. Yeah. Okay, and there we have Hans, I think, right? I, I, could tell, I could tell that by the hair. That, that, that's Hans? <laughs> He's playing Greg Oprah, yeah. Oh, that is Hans. Wow. But it is Hans, right? Hans is. Yeah. <laughs> can't tell what's going on. I think it's a draw. I think they're what in a queen end game. Oh, Let's see if we can pull it up. That is Hans. <laughs> Let's see if we can Hans pull it off. <laughs> <Out there. laughs> Wait, where's the game? Where's the game? Get... Yeah, that's what uh, I'm here. Like, Hans, huge, right? Hans, taller now and stuff, bro. It's like ridiculous. Let's hope the board will update. But this is his game against Greg Operin. <coughs> board is not updating. Come on. Come on, Danny Ranch. Give us some moves. I can't tell what's going on, but I think it's a queen end game. Hans looks disappointed. I think it's a draw. Hans knocking over. Oh, he's lost. Sad. Hans losing the game. The um, thing is, I could not tell the exact position, but White had a pawn on c7 and a queen on c3. Wait, let me. Let me find it. Let me try to. Let me try to pull it up. I don't have the exact position. But something like this was on. Oh yeah, wait, let me show you guys. Something oh, like in, this. Uh, found it. it's, it's in, um, is it in life? No, uh, events. You just uh, control F. Oh. ATN, come right up. Uh, board's not updating here. Uh, Hans did lose his game. I can't tell what happened, but um, if we go to live chess, I think I think something like like the last position, something like this was on the board. He was still. Yeah, let me try to pull it up for you guys. Too. He like just resigned. He was still able to play that. Actually, no, I, I think I think in Hans's game, something along these lines was on the board like it was someone like this right so hans was playing white uh no wait like to move okay some, something like this should yeah no wait one second this pawn is gone seven by seven board yeah that'd be fun huh? so queen of three happened oh you gotta fix it the, the there we go queen cat. of three queen of three happened and then Hans took, Black recaptured, and we saw Hans being disappointed. The reason is you think like, okay, he can make a queen, right? But after you queen, there's queen c1 check, and you lose your queen on c8. That's why Hans played something like king c2, but after queen c5, he resigned. GG. So, yeah, sad for, for Hans. Unfortunately, um, he loses this game. But let's see if we can pull up any other uh, results. Let's see. Uh, let's see what happened on the other boards. All right. So uh, Jordan van Vries beats uh, Polish FM. Magnus Carlsen loses to Fedosev. 
Let's have a look at what happened on the top board. Grish, no, Mamajarov. Mamajarov takes over the lead at 5.5 out of 6, so he carves 1.5 points back. Grishuk drawing Cinder off with the black pieces. Um, Kovalev against Badur's a draw. Jan drawing Ivic with the black pieces. Um, Anton beating Pontus Carlson. Let's see Sergei Karyakin getting the dub. Rasmus Fane is still, you know, very much up there. He gets another win. Dura gets the win. And yeah, Hikaru with a draw. So right, with a draw. We're not far behind at all, actually. I mean, it's a lot of chess, guys. You got to remember some marathon. Cream Sickle makes a good point. Nice to see Shaq doing well. Feels like it's been a while since he's had a strong result. That's real correct. You haven't heard a lot, heard a lot about you know, Shaq uh, lately these days. So for him yeah. to be a top dog right now, I think I'm sure he feels pretty yeah. good about it. But uh, more chess left. And Hikaru right behind, like, hungry for it. So, Indeed. Um... So yeah, this round's about to wrap up. Let's see what's going to happen. All right, I wonder if there's a break, you know, because we are at the halfway uh, point of today. You know, I mean, I mean a, a longer break, right? I mean, we had six rounds of Blitz already. Mm -hmm. um, but guys, we are going to take a break. We will be right back. Don't go anywhere, you guys. More action will be coming your way from the World Blitz Championship. All right, welcome back everyone to the World Blitz Chess Championships in Warsaw, Poland. In round number seven, we have Hikaru Nakamura facing off against a young talent from Uzbekistan, Shamsadin Vahidov. Kanti, what do you make of this pairing? You know, I think uh, Hikaru, you can see it. Look at his face right now, right? Does that face look like a face of anything that is uh, came to play any type of games right now? That man is mad and he's ready to go to work. He's focused. Look at the... Yeah, Precision he's here. for sure. He's in it to win it. Uh, once again, shout out to Maria Emilianova for providing us with the footage. Uh, she's photo chat on Twitch. Make sure to follow her. I guess we're going to start in two minutes. And yeah, Hikaru looking focused. I mean, he needs to win. We keep saying this, but he needs to win here. He needs to get going. <laughs> right? But we have to always be in positive spirits, guys. Always, because yeah. if you let the negative... Right, he, you know, he even, Mag not, not Magnus, like Carl said it himself, I remember he said it, he said, um, he was like, yo, the best way to get over a loss is short-term memory loss, right? So now he's not taking any ales, but you have to forget about the loss very quickly or it can be fatal when, like, the next yeah. rounds, you just bombing, 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 right? So one win could be the same way, usually. You get one yeah. win and you start getting streaks of wins. So we, we're looking forward to it. Let's see if we get this win. Let's get it. Yeah, no, sometimes really one win is all you need and then you get going. Um, so yeah, let's hope uh, let's hope that that is what is going to happen. Um, yeah, one already is going to... I think he's just going to stick to the stuff with Knight F3 and E3. He's got in good positions in it uh, in earlier games. So that is what I expect. Uh, but yeah, we are getting ready. We should be getting underway pretty soon. Like I said, I think we'll start on the hour. So um, players are getting ready. Car is looking focused against a young talent from Uzbek Uzbekistan, I guess, right? I don't know too much about him, but um, I guess he's good, but not. But Hikaru's better. Yeah, yeah, that's just a great way to put it. Here it is. And Game's we're on. off, knight of three, d5. And indeed, once again, e3. And are we going to see a b3? C5 by... And there it is. We got the E3, B3, Knight F3 on the board. Yeah. He has a very nasty win weight with this opening. Yeah. Black going A6 and Knight C6. Indeed, he has won a lot of games here in like Title Tuesdays and uh, online Blitz games. So he's very familiar with the positions on the board. Often a trade happens, then he ends up taking here and goes for C4. We see Knight F6 by Black on the board. He could decide to take this pawn. He could also decide not to. Bishop two is also move if, if you just want to develop. He goes a3. Okay, that's also possible. See black thing on d4. He's adjusting the pawn. Let's hope he did say adjust. Otherwise, he has to play a4. <laughs> exactly. Um. He takes with the pawn. He takes, he takes with the pawn. Okay. Okay. Let's see how black's gonna develop. Maybe move out the bishop. Black indeed goes bishop to f5. Move and Hikaru playing bishop to d3. Oh, so you really? say the trade on d3? Trade him. 
Again, like should be fine two. here. Um, yeah. Definitely. Maybe e6 or g6. Both moves are possible. It's going e6 a more traditional move. Knight d2 by Karu. Bishop e7. Castle, king side, right? Castles, Definitely castles. And rook e1 by Karu, putting the rook on the open file. Easy. Rook to c8 by black. You got the e5 square. Rook e2. And rook e2 doubling up on the e file. A little double action there. No knight before. Okay. Oh. And we already have a first result in the books. Fedosev and Mama Jarov already drew their game. Oh, but of wow. course, we're going to stick to this game of Ikaru. Queen a5 by black on the board. I guess he wants to stop. The, he wants to uh, disencourage this move. So he can take here. Ikaru going g3. And rook after the a by black. King g2 by Ikaru. We're going to king up. Is there some b4 in there? But more pawns on dark is going to be bad. But maybe knight b3 to c5 could be mm -hmm. possible. And we see queen b5 here by black. I feel like, yeah, I don't know who favors this queen trade. I mean, black has a double pawns, but on the other hand, c2 is backwards. You could also go c4, but then you have to be ready to deal the hanging pawns. Ikaru does decide to trade on yeah. b5 and go knight e1. He wants to rewrite his knight at d3. That's a very nice reroute there. Very nice. Yeah. B4 and knight to c5, but it could always be kicked from c5 with the extra b pawn. Indeed. And see rook a8 kind of by way. black hitting the pawn a3, knight d3 by Karu. Maybe you move this rook over to c8. It's. I feel like maybe black, black Ooh, should be better here pawn. because it's mm -hmm. very easy to attack the pawns. That's and, a good plan. What do we do about yeah. this? That's a good plan. Indeed. Yeah. That's a very good plan. Let's let me check his facial expressions. Um he's think I don't think they're frozen. I think they're just fully concentrated. Yeah, <laughs> there we go, Hikaru leaning forward. But yeah, the evil part is not like this for white. Um Rook's coming to A eight, putting a lot of pressure on the pawn on A three. And they'll yeah, be Yeah, I can understand because it's just that double in bishop A three like this. I have to hit your weakness. I don't know if I have to go knight c5, but then he has b6. It's just a problem. It's a ridiculous problem here. There's no yeah. weaknesses yet. What do you actually do? Karu taking his time here. I can't tell the clock situation, but it feels like he got down to a minute. He played c3. Was the idea b4? Rook, uh, rook to... Uh, yeah, the knight b1 happened. But now, how are you ever going to bring your knight back into the game? Right, because the knight is completely stuck defending the pawn. Knight a5, knight oh c1. Oh my goodness. Oh my, bro. Bach, talk to me right now. This is passive. Let's put it that way. Goes knight wow. a d7. Can he go a4 to entangle a little bit? Is, is what I wonder about. Like, if you can go a4, that'd be nice. Yeah, and he goes for it. Okay, so if black goes knight c6, there's a, b. Okay. Right, and we're fine. More or less. Wait, actually, knight c6, a, b, rook a1, bishop takes. He goes, he does go knight c6. Wait, like... Ooh, that pawn, the pawn's just going to drop. We just have to accept this, right? If we take, 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 take. Wait, take, 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 wait take, exactly. Take. <laughs> he takes here. There we go. There's rook a2. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then still g6, we give a check. King up, queen, queen. Take and rook takes you over. It's going for it. It's on the board. It's on the board. Take those. Take that one. Take, 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 take. I don't know if this is working out. Black can also take here, but then we should be fine after rook b2. He's doing it. It's done. It's there. And no matter what, we are going to this side of the deep end. Hopefully, you right. can swim on this side because we're about to yeah. see. Yeah. He's, he's head bopping, but. I don't see what he's intending after rook takes b4. And we see Valkyrov reaching for the piece. He does take the knight. Okay, now after c7, there's knight to b6. That doesn't work. You have to take the knight. Black will take the knight here. Right. You can go rook to a2, but then once exactly. again, black makes some luft. And then, and then the game check. will be unpleasant. Rook check, rook e8, bishop f6, huh? And then b4, maybe I don't have to have you like, get all my pawns yet. I can queen like later. There's still right, a little yeah. bit play. It probably looks drawish, to be honest. B4, rook B3, queen, bishop takes D8, rook takes, rook takes C3, rook E7. 
take on b7. Right, but d4 is also very weak, and then black will have five pawns, and white will uh, only have the true, and I only have the one b. Still she did to take here, out. and rook to a2. g6 now, though, by black on the board. He gives a check, king g7. c4 has to be played here, but really the best we can hope for here is a draw, unfortunately. He takes, take... Take, take, C4. take on C4. Different. I yeah. Didn't C4 at all. Right, because he felt like if he would lose a C3 pawn, then he would also lose a D4 pawn, and D4 black would have five pawns. Right. And now he can Let's still see. hope that somehow the D pawn gets traded for a B pawn, and it will be a four versus three, which is a draw. But it's again not what we're hoping for. Rook D7 by Karu. Well, hold on. Let's see how, let's see how Magnus is doing. <laughs> right. <laughs> so far, every time he Karu is drawn, Magnus got hit. So let's just see if uh, I mean if this is a trend. I mean, check the other. Let's just see what Magnus King is doing. Four. Magnus is actually two. King yeah, e three. B three. Black's getting the pawn all the way down to B two. This, uh, this is looking tough, right? With the king stuck on e three because you cannot move closer. Then then you hang this. So they went h four, h five, f three. But once again, you cannot move. King of six by black. Can he oh, hang on here? Be, this should be King of Four. Good, right? You can hang on here. Rook to D two. King E three back. back. King back. I don't know. Slide that boy over. Rook H two. King up to E four. Black taking his time here. Black going King back to G seven. That's a bit passive. Goes king to f4. Okay, we'll take the, yeah, and then the little box. Maybe we can chill in that little box there. f4, e3, e4. The little Carlos box going right g4. Triangle. Trying to get some counterplay. We see a trade. Can't tell the clock situation. Is a rook to d2. King e3 and rook h2. Update. Ah, like king f3, seconds. I guess. Yeah, that's on the board. If you take, I take your pawn on b2. Oh, but he has... Uh, he, he did take the pawn. He card took on b2. Looking tough, and maybe he can try this. King h6, he wants to move the king in with king to g5. But there's rook b5, also rook to b7. Courting his time. Which one is he going to choose? He does go rook b5. Yeah, this will not be a flag here, guys. He played f5. Okay, uh, we see this take, this e takes. For another draw. We'll and see. d5 by Ikaru. We'll king g5. Maybe some type of King e3, miracle. making sure that rook cannot get, get behind the pass pawn. Uh, what happened? Checking d4, king of four, but d6 is on the board. Wait, miracles are not out of the question here. Rook h1. Hold up. Rook h1. I can block with the check. Wait, he played rook he a3. Rook h8, okay. King d5 and g5, but he is also not out of the woods. King e6 on the board. There should be a... Hold on. Hold on. Rook h6 and king back. g4. Rook b8. You can tell how he's moving, how he's confident. Rook h1. Here. Wait, but it's a rook b4? Rook b4? No, but king e3? Wait, there is rook b4, but king e3. Right. Right, and he goes d7 he first. Pushed. Okay, so he's got a snap. Check. King he's e6. Snap, right. G3, and there should be a draw. Hikaru queens. Yeah. Take, yeah, take. Uh, yeah. and, and you have to be careful this... not to be even worse here. Satch, it is just a draw, king of three, he takes king of two, and all ends peacefully. Down to the bear kings, another one. Dang. Yeah, he was definitely on the edge there, but a draw is, of course, always better than a loss, but um, he needs to get going. In the meantime, Magnus gets a win, so he moves to five out of seven. Let's move around and see what happened on the other boards. Yikes. Uh, let's pull the one up real quick. We see Magnus won with the black pieces. Uh, here against Alexander Pratke. We see that Grishuk drew with Haik Marty Rosian. Queen's Gambit declined. Nice. Jobaba is still playing. Uh, Duda beat Vidit. Right. Uh, MVL won. Feruja won. Rasmus Fana lost. Uh, I can try to pull it up in events. Uh, let's go here. Um, 
This is the right round. Yeah, we see Shakriar, very quick draw with Fedasev. Um, Rasmus Fana lost against Kravtsev. Then uh, Krishuk draw. Sochko lost against Sindorov, another young talent. Oh, Duda, wow. Nice. Duda beat Vidit. And let's see, Jan. Jan drew with Amin Basim. Team of Arjun drew. Duda beat Greg Operin. Um, Levon won. Let's see, MVL won. Anish lost. Very, very sad. Very sad result there for, for Anish. Uh, and sad. Very sad indeed. Sad. Anish, what? <laughs> but yeah, that is really it for the most... Oh, and we see Fabiana Caruana beating Antipov. Oh, and we see Andrew Tang going down against Vladislav Artemi, a very strong grandmaster. But it seems... Oh, wait, did Andrew Tang flag? It looks I like... Find the game. I can't find he should not have game. lost his game, but maybe he just flagged. Or the transmission broke. So, we'll see. What uh, oh. what happened in all the games? Interesting. Yeah, I think this round is wrapping up. But yeah, let's have a look at what happened and what that means for the leaders. I think um, the leaders have six points out of seven games. Hikaru is one and a half points back. Magnus is two points back. Um, so is that is six really and a half up here. I think Strange. no one has six and a half, right? This is six Kravitz, is the leading score. Krav, Kravtsev. Yeah. Martin. Oh, Martin Kravtsev. Yeah, from Krav Ukraine. Yeah, he is leading the field with six and a half out of seven. Yeah. I don't even know who that um, is. Right? We don't even know who this <laughs> guy is, bro. Hey, well, that's a, smacking people. Six and a half. Well, he's a very strong Ukrainian GM, but sometimes that happens. Like, there's so many strong Ukrainian and Russian GMs that. There might be someone who's like 2680 and you're like, well, I never heard of that dude. Jeez. Right? Um, but anyway, you guys, that is a wrap for round number seven. So yeah, like Canty said, Kraftsafe is leading the field with six and a half out of seven. Hikaru is two points back. He needs to rake in some wins. Magnus is one and a half points back. But we will see you guys after the break. Don't go anywhere, you guys. All right, everyone. And welcome back to the World Blitz Chess Championships in Warsaw, Poland. In round number eight, we have Hikaru facing off with the black pieces against Dennis Karic, the flaming GM. As you guys can see, <laughs> the players just got seated and we're about to get underway. Kanti, what do you make of this pairing? Uh, you know, Karic is uh, very strong, but not nowhere near uh, Hikaru's strength. So definitely, like, um, knowing Hikaru is gonna, gonna, gonna hit this one. We need a win. We need a win, chat. Do what you do. Spam it now. Let's get it. Yep. We need a we need a dub. There's no there's yeah. nothing else to be said. No, indeed, Hikaru is two points back, so he needs to get going. He needs to get points on the board. So spam the flower to give him power. And we see an Italian. The players are blitzing out their moves. And I think, to be honest, not a bad pairing for Hikaru because Kadrich is not someone who just tries to force a draw or something like that out of the opening. Mm -hmm. So there will definitely be chances for 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 Hikaru here in this game. Uh, and we see an Italian. Okay, we're watching in live. Let's uh, hope. Oh, you're watching in live? You found it? Yeah. Oh, nice. Let's... Oh, wait, sorry. I'm look... watching in advance, oh. but the board's not updating. So let's check oh, if live not... has the game. Um... Okay. Yeah, there we go. Live does have the game. We're going to move over there. Oh, there we go. Well, let me just... This real quick. Okay, there we go. So yeah, it's a typical Italian why it's going rookie one, putting pressure on pawn e5, car goes bishop g4. Let's see, so this is similar to what he had against Ali Reza in the in the rapid. Uh, and uh, let's uh, by the way flip the board, look at it from Hikaru's perspective. Mm -hmm. H3, bishop h5. Um, bishop, wait. Love it. King h8, f5, e4, queen f6, rook a d e8. Just thrust everything on that side of the board. Go for me. Oh, but wow. But could he take seven. the pawn? Which one? Six. 
Could you take the pawn on d3? That's what I wonder about. Oh, you snap it back on d3. Now, that was 94. That's what uh, Ali Reza did, too. Right, yeah. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, he did not take the pawn. He went king h8, 94, knight d7. So this is very similar to his game against... Or maybe this is pretty much what he had against Ali Reza. Someone like bishop d5. Yeah, he didn't take on d3. Oh, wait, was like, like knight g3. Okay, so now we get this on the board. Right. Um, Hikaru still has 250 on the clock, but white is 215. So that is a uh, you know time advantage for him, but Healthy. nothing too critical just yet. Bishop d5 by Kadrich. Putting pressure on the knight, so that puts pressure on the pawn on e5. I don't know, Black is generally no, solid Rezzi here. I think LA in the LRS game, the move order was different. Hikaru reaching for the bishop, probably thinking to go bishop d6. There he goes. Um, also making way for the knight. Let's see what Kadrich is going to come up with here. Should be fairly solid for Ikaru. I wonder what's... Uh, oh, he traded... Yeah, he went f6 in that game, too. So an yeah. f6, I think, was in there with the eights and stuff like that. Be careful about this e5 pawn being weak, but nevertheless, pretty solid. I do like an f5 push, though. An f5, f4, maybe try to thrust these pawns if possible. Definitely, yeah. You can also also choose, choose to go f6, solidify the center. And we see Kadrich striking with d4 in the center. I think Kara should take that pawn. If I take, he has an isolated pawn, so he can't be too unhappy about that. If I take with a knight, maybe a trade, maybe knight comes out of c5. But I definitely think black should take here. So, definitely. and Kara does. Kadrich takes on g3? c6. Maybe it's not necessary. And takes on d4 like with the knight. Right, yeah, and he takes d4. Oh, he takes on c6. So he's hitting the pawn on c6, but black has the two bishops, so definitely, you know, chances for both sides here. Let's see how Hikaru is going to deal with the attack on the pawn on c6. Maybe knight e5, trying to hop into d3 is a move. Um, love it. I love knight e5. Yeah. I was also looking at queen h4 of just a pawn sacrifice with yeah. uh, f5 and f4. Um, just because uh, of we gaining gaining the time there with f5 f4 right. f3 immediately yeah. after queen h4 but uh, also c5 is no good because of knight b5 so yeah knight e5 right. looks good in queen h4 i really like queen h4 i really want to just get just make this man yeah. but you don't want to mess this up chat is yeah. watching we might go with 95 give him your energy you guys he needs to win here once again he's two points back he needs to get going knight c5 on the board if white takes he should be getting a lot of initiative here. Yeah, so let's see what Dennis is. it is. Yeah. It's definitely a pawn sacrifice. Different kind now. Knight c5, set to knight takes c6. What well, are we looking at? Queen h4 or queen f6? And he does take the pawn on c6 and queen h4 by Hikaru on there the board. Is. Now, guys, if you do want Dennis Kadrich to take his time, make sure to toss in that prime. It That's does right. work. We see it time and time again. Every single We time. see queen d4 offering a queen trade. Okay, I think Hikaru has to take... Okay, and uh, knight takes on the board. Karo could hop in with knight of d3. He definitely has comp, but can, is it, is it, you know, just comp for equality or, or more than that? Knight d3, rook d1 on the board. Hikaru takes on g3, recapture, and c5, hitting the knight. Mm. Can knight Very probably nice go into b5? Right. And then what mm. if you go rook a8 and rook to e2, followed by bishop b4 with a huge attack? So let's Love see. It. How do you stop that? Rook d2? Rookie one, then yeah, that is a good question. Yeah, I think eventually White will have to give the pawn back at some point. Um, so yeah, once again, it feels like Ikaru is fine, he's very, very active, but is it just fine for equality or more than that? 92 by Cottage on the board probably wants to go for a trade with Knight f4. Um, let's see what Ikaru is gonna do. Oh. That is an annoying move, yeah. Rookie Jeez. eight, Knight f4, yeah. There's no way to stop that move. It's going to be played no matter what, in fact. Indeed. Rook and B8, maybe just get the pawn back. Bishop Rook B8 H5? is indeed a move. No. He goes for C4 instead. Knight of 4 by Kadrich on the, the board. Bishop E4, probably. And Rook to B8. Rook B8, okay. Now, if White takes, I guess we take with the bishop, and White cannot entangle easily. Oh, Jeez, but then he took with the bishop. We There's... need a dub. I don't care about nothing. None of that. Yeah, we, we need, need a dub, dub here. We, we don't care about none of that. We need a dub now. If white takes, there's b4. He takes on d3, he takes with the pawn, and b he goes b4. Aha, uh -huh. the problem for black is that if we take twice, 
There's bishop a3, hitting the rook and hitting the rook on f8. So Ikara going rook f to c8 and bishop d2 defending everything. Looking tough, he's down a pawn and then end game. I mean... I can't take that. I I mean, that's suicide. I cannot take it on b4. He did take and play rook c2. Oh, man. <laughs> a and the a b1? 5 by Ikari. A and b. Bishop b4 by Ikari, trying to hang on. But this is looking very tough. I mean... White is kind of stuck though. I mean, you can push this pawn up, but stuck. then how do you make progress? I or can't go king e3. Uh, I would have to push the base pawn is the weakest. So I would have to push g2, g. I would have to push g4, a g5, h4, and g3. A and king of board. King e3. We see Carter so shaking his head, and he goes rook to c1. But still, this feels like this should be good for white. Rook d8, maybe for Icaro. You go most rook to a2. Okay. And b5. Shoot. Oof. We're not getting rid of those pawns anytime soon. Goes h6. To make for the king. But bishop f4. Rook takes in trouble. Two. But it doesn't, does it, it's nothing? He went rook it's to e8. It's literally E8. nothing. Oh my goodness. It's like so close, bro. Rook takes g2. He's just rook hanging D2. it. Rook a5. Okay. Takes. Jeez. Rook a5 and king to, wait, what oh, he's happens? Fast on the bishop board. to c7, rook a3, b6. Mm -hmm. Carter just pushing the pawns through. He is sacrificing a piece, but it cannot they, they, be enough. It feels like uh, he's down a piece for insufficient compensation here. Can he survive here? Or will he get his first loss of the tournament? That'll be tough to recover from. He's shaking his head in disbelief. He goes rook to a3, but he's just down a full piece. Kaj is reaching for the bishop. He goes bishop d6, rook a1 check, and king to h2. Looking very, very tough here. h5 by Hikaru. Okay. He wants to try to close in on the king, go rook e1. Rookie seven by Kadrich, and rookie one, yeah. not allowing. We see a trade, and look, it's just lost. King h seven, but everything is just dropping off. This is dropping off. He's down a piece here. Can he create a miracle? But or will he go down here against Danish Kadrich? He's got some hearts. Rook d one, check and bishop d two. Let's put hearts in the chat. We just need some love. We just need some love flowing through Before, here, right? He needs a miracle here. He's down a full piece. D2. Check. King it's of rough. 2. It's very rough. F3. Rook. You have to always have the tenacity. And it's go. not over yet, though. Rook of 2 on the board. He has to keep hanging the in there. And hope for a miracle. Yeah, the time Rook. not even updating on the air. I thought he was going to flag it, but King of 4. How does he. Wait, King. The pawn in the five is dropping off. Rook a8. Wait, can you take or is there bishop d2, king c2, king g5 by Kadrich, king b1? King back around. Ooh, he's trying he to make a miracle happen here. Rook a2. Wait, 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 wait. It's not over. Wait, it's wait, not over. I can take him pushed? What is this? He grabbed wait, he's the, grabbing queen. the queen. Rook takes a five. Oh my goodness. How is this, is how not is this over. possible? It's not refreshing on chest.com. It's not over. Here. King c2. So we watching on uh, g4. On Rook takes g2. Dro everything is dropping. On the live camp. Sorry guys, not... update the board's not updating. We have to watch the live cam down below. I think the best thing, I mean, maybe I'll just have to pull up an analysis board or something. Uh yeah, it's it's not updating. It like frozen or something. I guess because the wait, they is he lost so, or is so it a draw? Going on. Wait, it's a it's a draw. It's a draw. It's a draw. Wow. Wait. Hey, bro, look. I mean, hey. Hey guys, he so was we completely can lost. He was completely, completely lost. Get the man off the board. We going home today. Wow. Draw. But Save. still, a draw is always better than a loss, but he's not getting the results he needs. <sighs> Tough. It's just restart next game. New tournament, restart. And there we go. Uh, Max Sulu versus Sachko. Let's see if we can pull that game up. Um, let's go to events. Let's try to pull this one up. Sasha versus. Or, it, it looks like it's a draw, but it's a pawning game. Wait, it's a pawning game. Oh man, it's so many boards. Sued. I can't even find them. Wait, black has a king here. Pawn here, pawn here. White has a king here. Pawn here, pawn here, pawn here, and I can tell what happened. Uh, 
It's it's probably push, Blight's push, move. push, push, that push, was push, push. I guess. I queen, you queen, and is this a draw? Something oh like yeah. This, this, this. Yeah, with the uh, eight pawn. Wait, I'm still setting it up. Uh, <laughs> okay, wait. Come on. This is the position on the board. Okay. Oh, and then, he lost. Oh, and he lost. How did that happen? He lost. I just, he was moving so fast there. I think there was a check because I glanced away and looked up and the queen was off the board. So I'm assuming he missed the check. Yeah. Where uh, he was able to trade queens. Wait, did he, did he trade here or something? Yeah, and then king c5 somewhere. back king d4 something wait happened. did he do this did he trade into this is an update for me oh, okay here it is now i can find it so he did what did he do oh he checked him and then oh Just he traded? took he he, yeah, he traded he thought he was close enough but he Man, was not close rough. enough at all he was too far away oh okay so draw here between Parham and uh, Sachko. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, let's see if we can pull up another game. <laughs> Forgot how to go, go away, man. Yeah, for, <laughs> GM, by the way. Okay, are there still more games going on? Here we have a game in the women's section, which. I don't think this game is in here. I can't tell what's going on. Something happened. Arbiter just walked over, stopped the clock. I don't know what happened yeah. there. But something happened. Yeah, it was. I um, can't tell what they wrote down. It was, it was probably a draw. Let's call it, let's call it a draw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely okay, draw. there's yeah. still a game going on there between. Oh, Hans! Hans, Hans once again, again, our boy. Big fella. <laughs> Once again, like you Let's can tell him. by the hair. You can, can tell by the hair. Anywhere. Against uh, Harsha. <laughs> Let me see what he's doing on the board. Uh, the hair. Yet. Oh, here we go. Here oh, we go. We have it in line. Oh, that's a draw. But it's a, it's a dead draw. It's a dead draw. It's a draw. And a draw on the board here. Here, This is when Hans, you know. Could, anyway, whatever. Draw on the board. He even he even used to do streams where he went to the barber, like what happened there. And there we have Parham Maxudlu, Parham having a laugh, being like, "Yeah, I don't know why I traded queens." Yeah, I don't know. That was garbage, wasn't it? Yeah, I know. Yeah. And he said, "Like well, he said, like, well, it's fine. It wasn't stream, so it's just a throw for content." <laughs> yes, for content though. Yeah, it is what it is, you guys. But yeah, another draw for Hikaru. Let's try to see what happened on the top boards. Um, so this was round number eight. We see Magnus winning with um, winning with the white pieces against Boris Gelfand. We see Kraftsev going down against Big Fish. So Magnus has six points out of eight games. Hikaru has um, eight. No wait, uh, no wait. Hikaru has five, and the leaders probably have seven points. We see Sindarov taking down Shaq Mamajarov. Duda beating Ivic. Levon Aronian beating Grishuk. Uh, Dubov winning. So, yeah, guys. I think um, that will be a wrap for this round. But don't go anywhere, you guys. We will be taking a short break. We will be right, we will be right back with more action from the World Blitz Chess Championship. We'll see you guys. All right, what's up, everyone? And welcome back to the 2021 World Blitz Chess Championship in Warsaw, Poland. In round number nine, Hikaru is up against Peter Michalik. Kanti, what do you make of this pairing? Yeah, well, first off, uh, you know, we need a dub. Bob. Yeah. We need a dub. So we that's all I got to say. We got the white pieces. Okay, we got to win. So we're going to yeah. do our thing, maybe play something different, switch it up. But we need a dub. Yeah. I'm curious what Hikaru is going to come up with indeed. And we see, is it? I think that's Ali Reza there in the back. We also see in the <laughs> back, um, I can't tell around. who it is, so maybe, maybe the hair will give it away. Oh, it's, ah, it's, probably, it's, probably, it's probably Hans Niemann, it's probably Hans Niemann, right, playing with right. the black piece against yeah. Sen and Shigirov. 
Nice. <laughs> and yeah, that's Ali Raza there at the board behind Ikaru. Um, so yeah, that's what hap That's what's happening, um, you guys. So players are gonna get started in just a minute. We are unfortunately gonna crop them out a little bit because I'm gonna pull up the full board here. Give us a second, you guys. And, uh, they're still in there. You guys, there we go. Now we can see the full board. Uh, Peter Michalik, he's a uh, Grandmaster from the Czech Republic. He's very, very solid. Rated 2600 in Blitz. He's also a regular on chess.com. I think he's been rated over 3000, so not an easy pairing no. for Hikaru. Let's see what he's gonna do. Yeah, well, you know, we know, we know Hikaru fights everyone and anyone online. The guy looks very comfortable though, they both do. Both do here, so, um, you know, I think our advantage is us having the white pieces here. Yeah. And Hikaru being quick as well, so let's see what happens. Hopefully we can get a good game we, here, knight of three, b3. And we are We're off once again, one knight of three on the board, knight of six. And he goes b3, no sticking me, yeah. to his guns. Well, fortunately, we have no the life moves. camera, but life chess or is other, failing us. Nothing, oh, everything's failing. Oh, there you six. Okay. And he goes for the system with d4, Mitchell playing with d5. So probably turn into more of a slough. Very, oh, he goes c5 right away. He card takes a pawn. He seems pretty confident here. Is there still some preparation by the big fella? Queen a5 yeah, check on the board. They say TT prep in the chat. Title Tuesday prep. That's right. Yeah. That's what he did. Yeah. Every week we see this. Yeah. Knight bd2 on the board. Um, some Title Tuesday prep. And that. Bishop takes c4 on the board. The evil bar is showing a big advantage for Hikaru, even though to queen takes c5, the structure is approximately even. But it should be quite though. Real yeah, quick. he has Rick everything developed, indeed. And this might okay. be a 15 mover. No, well, okay. <laughs> I think I think that's a bit too much to ask for queen b6 on the board. Uh, like notice that white was threatening here. But yeah, let's see. Very comfortable, though. Very comfortable. Did any point. range... Switch the sounds back on. Wait, how do I... You can also do queens to b3, a2, and a1 in these positions. And lots of space. You have space, you have uh, time and options. Yeah. Bishop of five by uh, Michalik. I think just castling here yeah, just castling looks looks pleasant. Um, Very nice. Casting's fine. Hikaru taking his time though. I wonder what exactly. Maybe 94 is what he's thinking about. But. You, yeah, got, you gotta go, dude. You got you gotta go. That's true. Or knight b3, queen e2, queen b3. Yeah, and castles Last on the board. Here. Get the king out the center. Indeed. Yeah. Castles. And yeah, I think indeed the queen wants to go to b3, where it's pressing the pawn. We see Michalik playing a6. Um Okay, I think queen b3 is the way to go. Queen e2 queen by two. Hikaru. Okay. This could uh, maybe e4, e5 is an immediate threat here. Yeah. Rook 88 by Michalik. Okay, solid move. Go maybe e4, moving the auto rook. White should be better here, but it's not a huge advantage. I mean, the structure is symmetrical. Black is caught up in development. I think white's pieces are just placed right. slightly better uh, than black's. Right? The queen's feeling a bit uncomfortable. The knight. Cannot really go anywhere. I'm about to say e4. Look, this is like e4, e5, and then just steamroll them. Is e6 yeah. possible too? E4, e4 e5 on e6. the board. Bishop g4. E5 anyway. Um, maybe. Maybe he H2 was first. reaching for the h pawn. I wonder why he slowed down. Wait, is there knight x e4 and takes knight g3? There's no way, right? Yeah. Nah, queen b2. It doesn't work. Okay. But then why did he slow down? Maybe. Maybe he takes everything in knight h5. Hmm. I really like e5. e5 and h3 is one or the other. He's looking at probably, right? Right, because that's a knight, knight h5. Take. There's tactics with knight g3, which is really annoying. Due to the four. Hmm. I wonder if he car really he went knight b3. I wonder if he really slowed down. Okay, he's a little bit under two minutes. Mitchell has approximately two and a half. Knight so b3. he's down a little bit on the clock. Evil bar showing equal now. Knight d7 on the board by Michalik. I expect a trade. Yeah, and indeed he does. Michalik recaptures. Queen um, b2, get out the pin for the win. No weaknesses around the Queen b2 with a check. That's right. And now okay. we move the knight. Yeah, and now... Maybe knight d4. Mm -hmm. 
He played e5 to block. Okay, the e5 pawn is always a bit tender. Maybe move the knight back and and uh, hope for something. I think knight fd2 makes sense because h3 is a positional threat. If the bishop has to go back here, we double what the pawn. 91 then. He played knight fd2. Yeah. Yep, it's on the board. Now h3 is an unpleasant threat. Also, there's bishop d5 and knight c4 to deal with. Yeah, that's a nasty plan. Bishop d5 and knight c4. Yeah. Yikes. So Michalik taking his time. I think Hikaru's clock is off. At least that's what I hope. I mean, one minute is not too comfortable, but you could be right. See we see knight of six by Michalik. Camera. And then it's something. He, bishop d5 anyway by Hikaru. Oh, his idea is takes, takes. And if take knight of c4, hitting the queen. And after that, knight of e3, forking the rook and the bishop on g4. Sheesh. Tactics. Not knight, knight. Some very nice tactics there, indeed. Beautiful. I wonder what can Black do after takes takes knight of c4. Where can the queen go? Is there a way for Black out of this, or is he in trouble? Just, what if we go? Well, shoot, knight c4 is coming regardless. So he's like, yeah, just get yeah. rid of this bishop now. Oh, he took takes, a knight takes. c4 right away. Oh, okay. Right There's away. still a lot of tactics though. Do we stay on the a7 diagonal. Oh wait, the. No, hmm. Okay, and we see queen b5, takes, takes, knight e3. Now the queen has to go to either e6 or c, or uh, either to e6 or d7, and Ikaru will jump in with knight c5, hitting the queen and a pawn on b7. So he should be and getting an advantage here. It's also up a little bit on the clock, knight e6 on the board. He hops in with knight c5. Uh, queen went back to c8. That's a pawn took on g4 and took on b7. This is Speak. looking great. Thank you. Rook is... Thank you very much. Knight d4, but does this work? There's f3. Knight f3 could be a problem, or knight e2. Knight e2 especially. But yeah, f3, f3 on the board, he finds it. Uh, Michalik, when... Michalik is thinking. And look so at the lean back. Hold on, we got to practice the lean back. Queen g5. Yeah, it's a tournament. Practice take, your take. lean back. Now Hikaru's thinking, but he should be winning. This one, he has to win. He's up in exchange time. He's also up a little bit of time on the clock. Let's go. He has to win this game. Let's go. He's reaching for the rook. He went C to E1. Feels good. Feels good, man. Feels good. Hitting the pawn. F6, maybe F4 action. See Michalik is thinking here. Hikaru still 49 seconds. Michalik a little bit less. H5. Trying to create some counterplay. Maybe queen f2 and f4, that's a plan I like. Yeah, I like it too. Queen f2 and then playing f4, blast it open and go back to the queen side. A4, queen f2 B5. on the board. Yep, yeah, Carl listening to us. Good job. That's right. Only history. Only history. Oh. Or is cheating. Queen f2. Indeed. Very nice. Preparing f4. Maybe, Maybe you want to go 96, 96 to stop that, yeah. but then you can go queen g3 to trade everything off. So again, in a blitz game, you're generally happy if you're winning the trade. Uh, because then, you know, the, the situation becomes more... Queen e3 was played, knight f4, but now g3 looks very stable. Uh, hitting the knight. Yeah, don't go still... queen f2 or rook f2. Why is that, Bob? Why can't he I go took... queen f2 or rook f2? <laughs> well, because knight h3, but he took an e5, looks also good. Rook d2 came in. Now, g3, don't go g3. One rook e4, okay. So if black takes king h1, black's in trouble. If he takes the knight, rook f2 wins on the spot. And a dub. Very good, very good. Very clean, very good game. That's what we need. That's what we need. Car gets Go a dub. Flex. Moves to six out the, of nine. Yeah, yeah. You can just breathe. You can see the relaxation. The breathe. Ah, I'm relaxed. Yeah. I feel better. Right. He's not moving all fast and tense. Yeah. That's how you move when you're mad. Right. Indeed, yeah. Relax. Okay, so let's see. Maybe Maria will carry us over to the game of Ferruja. So let's pull that up in the meantime. Fivero is in trouble again. This just looks like we can take and drop the rook all the way back. Not this rook because that hangs the bishop. Yeah. Both sides have around five seconds. Bishop be seven by Ali Reza. King h3. Kent. King g4. White looks winning. Can just start pushing up the board. Knight of four is Ooh, coming at some point. H5, G6, rook back rook to F7. Six. Yeah, yikes. Okay, bishop three, knight of four. Bishop three on the board. And white is slowly but surely pushing on the board. Black can take the pawn. He should, but still G6 is coming through. Yeah, it's through there. The yellow man blocking the board. 
There we see G6 coming it's through. There. D5's hanging. Spinkers. Five. Bishop D8 by Ali Reza. Something should be winning here. It's knight of six, three pawns. White, when rook f7, seven, take, take. Seven. Can't tell what's going on there by the live camera, so we're really dependent here on the board. And we also don't know what Hans did. Hans in the background. Standing up. That game is still in full progress. I mean, Predka should win this one. But we have no idea. Oh yeah. Your guess is as update. good as ours, guys. They didn't even update. Yeah. They didn't even update. The board stopped updating. Yeah. It's stuck. Sweet. And I what think that was a do? resignation by Ali Reza. So Predka wins. I mean, it looked like from the body language, it looked like not like a draw mm -hmm. from was made. Also he was in a lost position. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Alright. Um Magnus lost, bro. Stop playing. Stop playing magnus lost by the way to shakri armamajarov and Ronian lost to duda yeah magnus is, is dropping going on. a lot of points magnus getting molly this tournament the, the two big dogs magnus and hikaru are on six out of nine not a great score um let's try to pull this game up if we have it anywhere i doubt it's in life but let's try anyway we're gonna oh wait it is it is here we go, you guys. What game is this that? is what's what happening game? over there. Queen in game. White should be winning though. White's up, a, white's up two pawns. A6, queen, a4 on the board. We just move the king around. King d2 is on the board. Queen a2 check. King e3. Black is thinking. But black should be lost. Goes king to g3. Queen g6 check. Yeah, he's got this. Can't tell what's Walking going on. Around. Something Double like... Check. Something like this happened. King is... Something like this on the board. Seven. Oh, he's able to push. He pushed again. Yeah, this should be winning for white. That's not a check. That and check, check, and now... I think black flagged or something. What happened? What did he flag? Yeah, he just saw the clock. I guess he flagged. But anyway, white is winning. I, don't, I have no idea what happened. Wait, Arbiter! Arbiter! What? Arbiter! Oh, Stop. Wait, he's still playing. He you gotta be kidding me! He all in the camera. Someone, hey, get you, man. Hey, get him on the phone. Get, hold on. Maria, just call. give him a gentle Let push. Let me call him. Let me get. Hold up. But anyway, the board is that. updating. White is fully visor? controlling the long diagonal. Oh, he's get all in the here. Oh. Oh, that's a clean jacket, my But guy. it's not over he, just yet. got that yet. from Macy's. Wait, come on! That's nice fabric. Arbiter, that is a nice jacket. <laughs> that's but... <laughs> nice. That boy, he got that for Christmas. I know he did. Move. That mm -hmm. boy, Christmas. Get out the way. Get clean. out the way. Get out the way. Very clean. Oh, fun fact. Black had queen to e3. Because if you take that still, mate. Oh, yeah, that's but cute. white is getting more coordinated. Don't put your queen here, because then there's always still matrix. Yo, does he queen e3 on the board. This? Queen e3 on the board. Don't take it. Don't take it. On his back. How are you so now? close to somebody else? Black is starting to run out of like checks. That. What is this arbiter? I mean, he he has to know that you are right on somebody else's camera. <laughs> what <laughs> is this? You don't feel this? Wow. Okay. Yeah. And there we go. Yeah, it was all of that. We all saw that. We all saw that. <laughs> I'm going to have to go get that jacket, man. Macy's. Yeah. Got you. Right. Uh, but Vahab got the win. We all could follow it here. Um, anyway, let's go. Let's move around and see what happened in all the other games. All right. So we see that Volokitin won against Marshall Konarek. Uh, where are the top boards? Okay, drops me Pure Room and Joe Bava. I mean, come on, show us El Magneto. What is this? Oh, yeah, he just took it. Damn. Okay, Magnus lost to Shekriar Mamajarov. Mm -hmm. Well, went draw between Big Fish and Cinderov. Um, Levon beats Duda. Vojtasek wins, moves up the standings. Draw between Kravtsev and Dubov. Draw between Purun and Badur Jobava. 
MVL going down against Amin Bassem. Um, then we have, uh, uh, let's see what happened in the other games. Yeah, some draws, some wins. Rosmus Fane beats Artemiev. I feel like, I don't know what exactly Dang, he wants Rosmus. for Rosmus Fane. He's Ooh. doing very, very well. Yo, that's a big win. Yeah. Also, uh, Fabiano beats Greg Operin with the black pieces. Jan Pomniacci draws. So I think that is it for the most part in terms of Grishuk wins. I think he was right up there. Uh, Nihal Sarn losing to Ivic. I think Ivic was also, also had a pretty high score. So let's see. And yeah, actually, after this round, the, the, the leading pack will be Cinderov, Fedosev, and Aronian with 7.5 out of 9. Then there's probably a group, you know, with 7 out of 9 and 6.5. And but Magnus Carlsen and Hikaru Nakamura are chasing the pack. They are on 6 out of 9. It's not their tournament just yet, but Hikaru got that dub we talked about, right? Like, he, need, he needed that win, and hopefully he can get going now. Yeah. You know, we get that momentum. That's what we needed, right? Domino effect here. Sometimes you just need that one, breathe, relax, stretch, get back to work. Indeed. And uh, there are 12 rounds today, so three more rounds to be played. So still a lot of action, and then we'll have nine more uh, tomorrow. Uh, so, yeah, that's um, that's what's coming up. Uh, let's hope, yeah, Hikaru will, will have some pairings where he can really, um, you know, get going. Um, so yeah, and also we just wanted to give a big thank you to Polymarket for sponsoring this stream. Type in exclamation mark Polymarket in the chat and check out their generous, uh, check out their, their markets in chess and, uh, other markets. They also have politics. So type in exclamation mark Polymarket, check them out. Thank you. Uh, uh, thanks to them for sponsoring this stream. Anyway, guys, um, we are going to be taking a short break. We will be right back with more action at the World Blitz Chess Championship. Don't go anywhere, you guys. All right, what's up, everyone? And welcome back to the World Blitz Chess Championships in Warsaw, Poland. In round number 10, Hikaru is paired with the black pieces against Volodymyr Anishuk. Kanti, what do you make of that pairing? Well, we got the black pieces. It got twenty six twenty here. I think for blitz, is this the blitz ratings? These are uh, twenty six fifty. I think twenty six twenty yeah. is classical. Okay, yeah. he's still very strong. Twenty six in both yeah. classical and blitz here. No joke, yep. right? So black pieces, we want to stay solid, but we definitely looking to play fast and win. So, you know, that's what we're rooting for right here. Hopefully, we'll see something easy that he knows, like the back of his hand. Maybe some. Um, Berlin, which is boring, but he knows it even to the point where he's winning Berlin games sometimes. So, I mean, I think he has to try to go and go and win here. Um, like, I feel like a play like if he's gonna play the Berlin, you know, and if you're playing white against Hikaru, you might just take a draw, right? Yeah, like play the rookie one variation, trade everything off. So Hikaru, he's one and a half points back. He has to try and beat. Uh, he start. He has to try and win here with the black pieces. But yeah, Anishuk. Not an easy pairing at all. I think he's a regular in like Title Tuesdays and those online events. And I think at some point he was pretty high rated in Blitz, like maybe even over 2700 if I recall correctly. So definitely not an easy pairing here at all for for Ikaru. Well, the chat is uh, the 3500, uh, 55 head chat here with um, talking about the shirts. They're twins, they're the exact same oh. shirt. <laughs> it's a draw because of the shirt. Because of the shirt, wow. it's draw. It's battle of the shirts, <laughs> right? So the chat knows what's up. The chat knows what's up. Indeed. It's really like whose shirt is better? Whose shirt is pressed better? My guy, right. we're about to see right now. Oh, and we are off E4 on the board by Anishuk. He caught to E5, Knight F3, Knight C6. Before to C4. Okay, we've seen Italian once again. I think, you know, we can't complain too much. But at least we'll have, you know, all the pieces on the board. Let's see if Hikaru's going to go for this variation again with D5. Knight D2. So sometimes what White does is they delay castling. Uh, how, do you, how do you think Hikaru's going to deal with this? Oh, he goes D5. Yeah, he goes D5 instantly here, actually. In fact, uh, yeah, it's already open game. I like it. Open yeah. bishops. And I can get to f4 if I can. Maybe bishop g4, king h8, f5. I got the open position. It's always what I like to do, especially with the white pieces. You would want to do that anyway, too. 
King H8 or King H1 and F4 and just be aggressive. Attack yeah. to that side of the board. So, yeah, he's having the same line that he had against uh, Ali Reza and the Rapid and yeah. Dennis Cartridge, uh, the game we saw earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and though both of those games didn't really go his way, actually, he was lost in, in both of those games. So, let's hope that this one will go better. Uh, 94 on the board by White. I think bishop, move like bishop g4 is, is normal here. f5 also an option. There we go, f5. If White takes, you take it to pawn. The pawn on e5 is nicely defended. So let's see. But on the other hand, I do think you have to take on d6. Okay, he card recaptures with the pawn, strengthening the pawn on e5. And White is thinking. I think not an opening we can be too unhappy about. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even you can do stuff like f4, bishop g4. In many cases here, the bishop cannot get back to e2. But again, we do need to tuck our king, tuck and roll yeah. here on h8. Uh, so you can get out of out of ways of queen b3 checks, for instance, if we do have a bishop yeah. on g4. Because he, he gets out of the pin. We don't need this. We do have to tuck the king eventually. Yeah, and why play d4 in the center? But I think, you know, e4 for your card should work out his way. Knight g5. Maybe he's trying to establish a blockade here. On the dark squares, right? So Ikaro goes uh, d5 uh, himself, grabbing more space in the center. Once again, like I, I kind of like his position. You know, he has more space in the center and on the king side. If white cannot blockade effectively, like if we got one more move, f4 should be crushing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely crushing. So Squeeze him. Yeah, d5 white goes so f3, do you play f4 but f4? Or Anyway, F4. oh yeah, the knight's hanging, right? And White then, can you have, have sack, to play H. but Ugh. is that enough? Six, 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 we six. see Hikaru, you know, looking like, huh? Huh? But yo, this is gross. My shirt definitely better than yours, my guy, yes. F4. And he goes F4. Now, if White... Nah, that is terrible. White has the sack, and there he goes. Knight takes C4. Pawn takes, pawn takes on the board. White does have a nice center, though, but Hikaru has an extra piece, so he has a good chance to win this one. Let's see how he's going to continue here. Maybe queen g5 hitting the bishop. Then we can bring out our own bishop to g4. That's right. We need that. And we get we some energy this. from our guy. Let's go, Chad. Let's go. Two in a row? Can we get two in a row? Yeah. Can we get two in a row? That's what Stop he needs. Playing. And then he'll have white again, you know. Stop then he can easily make a three. And then, you know, another one. That That's really, that's really what he needs. If he can close his day out with four wins in a row, I think he will be feeling pretty good going into the second day of the blitz. Okay, I mean, to me, queen g5 looks very logical. You hit the bishop, yeah, right. you can bring out your own, defend this pawn on f4, so what is there not to like? Exactly, I wonder what Let's he's go. thinking about, queen g5. Go, maybe go, there's go. Bishop, maybe there's queen f3, but then bishop g4, he, but then bishop, yeah. yeah, no, yeah and I guess queen e7, like. that's also a fine move. He's hitting the pawn on e4. Uh, time situation is a... Wait, does he really have 116? That is slightly worrying, because uh, then he's down almost a minute on the clock. White drops the bishop back to d3, the oh, defending true. the pawn on e4, and he's reaching for the g pawn. g5 is possible to hang on to the f4 pawn. I feel like if white takes here, white should be fine, and g5 by Hikaru is on the board. Right, yeah. going queen to h5, oh, yeah, trying g5, to create yeah. threats on the king side. Okay, you have to get developed. He goes queen to g7. This is He's, this is still murky because like I mean you yeah, have yeah. a piece but like the double bishops they got the double ops and a strong center, it yeah. is compensation for being down a piece. I mean this is not over especially if the dark square bishop gets active. Whoa, this could turn around one hundred percent. No, for sure, yeah. And uh, queen g seven is on the board. Uh, Anishuk is thinking here. He goes king to h one. Maybe there was some knight d four business, but this does give Hikaru the time to stabilize. Move out the bishop to d seven. I would think. The, he moves it out of yeah. e6. This is, should definitely be better. He's up a piece now, and yeah. I feel like White does not have sufficient compensation. The rook's about d5 to move in. does not work, by the way, chat. So let's have seven. Yeah. Indeed. In case of d5, there's also knight e5. White going b3. Maybe he wants to develop the bishop this way, but someone exactly. like rook of six, rook h6. There thinking. he goes, rook of six on the board. Ooh, very nice. Activating rook the rook that way. Spam that flower to give him that power. That's right. There he goes. We need the flower power. We need rook it all. Six. Queen drops back to e2. Maybe time to move in the other rook. D5 can still be. Okay, he goes rook to e8. Okay, nice move. 
How do if we get White the King goes, size attack going here? Rook H6, that is a but good it's question. not Bishop clear. Bishop 2 on the yeah, board, and Bishop's Haru out. played. And box, C4, oh, D5, and E5, right? I mean, just opening up the bishops. There and might have been D5 you know. takes and C4, but Queen of 2 was chosen by Anishuk. This should be great. Like, try to get the Queen on the same line as the Rook and then try to hit him on H2. That should be crushing. Karo going knight of d7. Question is how. Nice move. Oh, knight of six, knight of, nice indeed. Nice move. Yeah, he's crushing this one. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna mark this up. I'm gonna mark this up as a win. Okay, so we move to seven out of nine. E5 by Anishuk. Stopping the knight from coming to f6. Rookie 97 on the board. Maybe mm. 95 to e3. C4. And bishop f5 happened. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, what happened? I can't tell. The bishop went to bishop b two, bishop b four. Yeah, they're shuffling back and forth. And knight g six by Karu. Gotta be careful that those pawns don't push through. And there he goes, g four, coming for him with g three. This looks crushing. I don't want. I don't see. I didn't update Rook a one, g four on the board. Yeah, now this is a threat. This is a threat. This is gonna be a dub. King to g one on the board. Rook takes h two. Boom. Bishop takes Thinkers. g4. Oh, Bonnet took on h2. Can it update oh, on queen board? h6. So bishop h3. Oh, wow. Rook takes. Pawn Rook takes. takes. Oh, bishop my takes. goodness. He's crushing him here. Whoa. Four. He just put it on the shelf for the chat. e6 on the board. It's not over yet, but knight of 6 looks nice, so you're ready to hop in with the other knight. Everything should be winning here, but he still needs to close this one out. Keep spamming that flower, you guys. Yeah. Keep giving him energy. He goes knight f6. Nice move. It's Ready to hop in. He's too strong. His power yeah. level is over 9,000. <laughs> I don't know. Stop giving him so much power. <laughs> it's like the spirit bomb, you guys. Like, raise your hands and throw that energy <laughs> his way. Queen h2 on the board, but knight g4 looks crushing. Knight g4 on the board. Queen h1? Queen h4, maybe. There he goes. And it should be over. Queen g3 is a massive threat. Rook f3 cannot be played. Queen h4 on the board. Queen f3. Bishop takes f1. This is over. It's Completely gross. crushing. Boom! There we go. Wow. Man. And another dub. Dub, let's go. Dubster. Easy clap. Can we get some easy claps let's in the go. chat? Let's ah. go. Easy clap. I know he I know he's being he's being cool right now, but literally he wanna he's trying to he's trying not to flex right now. He's he yeah. know y'all watching. He was about to flex for the camera, but he Indeed. forgot he was there. He wrecked him hard oh, here. Boy. Once again, doubters, Dumb. there's the door. And there we go. He moves to 7 out of 9. Very nice win. So let's try to pull up another game. Um, let's see how Levon, who's leading, is doing. Levon should be winning here. He has an extra pawn in the active rook. There's nothing black can do here. You just take it. You slowly push up the board. If, you know, the rook situation would be the other way around, black would have a chance for a draw. But since white has an extra pawn and activity, this should be... An easy win for someone like Levon, Levon Rodion's caliber. So I think then Levon Let's will grab the sole lead. Can grab another pawn here. Uh, let me keep an eye out on Cinderov. But yeah, Levon should be winning here. The two pawns are too far advanced. So yeah, I think Levon is going to grab the lead here with 8.5 out of 10. Wait, yeah, it's, it's not even updating on the board. Oh, there it is. Okay, finally, I can see what you're talking about. Yeah, King here? of five, perhaps. Yeah, Levon should be winning here. Levon, by the way, these days, he's representing America. USA? Yep. Um, Kokona. Wait, where does Kokona even come from? I don't, I don't, I don't get that one. <laughs> yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this should be a win for Levon. Um, yeah, I don't even know that one. <laughs> <laughs> there they go. They come from America. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Try stopping these pawns. Yeah, this should be a win for Levon. Uh, he moves to 8.5 out of 10. I mean, I guess... I guess I guess for the save resign here. The result is not mm -hmm. in the books yet, but it looks lost. If you move your king over, then I'm going to push either of the pawns. So let's see how Cinderov is doing. Sin oh, Cinderov lost to Kraftsiv. 
So now it will be Levant in the sole lead with eight and a half out of ten. Jeez, out of nowhere, um, kind of saw him. We didn't really yeah. see that coming. I mean, he just kind of snuck up there. Indeed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's see who else we have. Um, we have the game of Duda. This looks like a draw. Let's see who else we got. We got Ferruja, who's not having his event so far. He's on um, five. Five points? Five points out of eight? Something like that. Not really his event so far. And this one is not looking easy either. King has to go back, otherwise you hang your rook. E6 now? Wait, E6? How do you... Oh, Wait, there's no perpetual on white standing checkmate. Oh, check, I checks. dodge. Okay, we got to check. I go A3, right? King A3, I'm chilling. I think, right? I think I just chill on A3. Yeah. Oh, is wow. Ferruja going on down board? once again? Dang, bro, he getting hit. What's going on? I mean, Magnus getting hit. This is like everybody underrated here. This is Indeed. definitely a shakeup. This whole tournament. Magnus got hit a few yep. times. I mean, Hikaru has been solid. Like, he had no yeah. L's. <laughs> no L's from, the, from our guy. Like, Right. But, of course, he does need some dubs to be able to fight for the medals in this event. But, yeah, it looks like Ferrugia is going down once again. This E-pawn is just too far up the board. There's no checks to the to the white king and white always has ways to push that pawn through somehow I mean, so very right. very tough and, loss and, and do you do you know who Matra Vasilis is he's a greek gm <laughs> i mean the it, name gives it away i, I think I've, I've heard of him yeah <laughs> yeah really thanks Bach. yeah no i had no idea yeah. where he would be from nice indeed um, exactly and... who who is this guy yeah Smacking for Ruzo right G8, now. Eight, but the easiest way here will be Queen F5, then check and that's on the board. Bishop D2 is very clean. King G7, you trade and Manka, huh? He hasn't found it yet. Queen F5. Queen F. Wait, he flagged. Oh, he Are you flagged. kidding no, me? No, he didn't. He didn't flag. He didn't. He couldn't have. Are no, you kidding moved. me? What? Did it, did it update? Did it update as a flag? It says zero one. Are you kidding me? Bruh. No. Wow, it did. It updated as a zero one. That's a flip the board moment. Sorry, I'll pay for the DGT, my bad. Is Bishop D2 really that difficult? And check. You can make any move. You get two seconds. Didn't you have any check or anything too? Right, the first check you see. Oh man, that's rough. Bruh. He had like a few seconds too. It looks like he it's did. Not like flag. he had like two seconds. Got yeah, got a like, move, dude. Got got a move. He did not have that in yeah, extension installed. Dang. Yeah, he had the extension. Right. That's right. Yeah. Right. So let's um right, sure we can. go around in events and let's see uh let's see chance. what happened. In the other games, very very lucky win here for for Ferruja. Well, let's see what happened. Um, round is updating. Let's see, so this was round number ten. Can you please get the top games. All right, so we see Magnus Carlson winning with the white pieces against Kobalia. So Magnus also moves to seven out of ten. We see Badur winning with the black pieces. Levon grabbing the sole lead with eight and a half out of ten. Arion Tari going down against Gukesh. Cinderov loses against Kravtsev. Um, so a manly beats Bluebaum. Okay, Dubov beat Czech, Riyar Mamajarov. Wow. Uh, nice Duda shot. drawing with Amin Basem. Then uh, Caruana losing to Rasmus Fana. Damn, this dude, Rasmus is really on wow. fire. Is he on like 8 out of what? 10 or something? He's on a huge score. I keep seeing him win. This is a problem. Yeah. Um, if each Arjun is a draw, Grishuk loses to Sachko. And um, yeah, we see our man here, Hikaru, crushing Anishuk with the black pieces. Then Arjun's Jan gets. Up here too. Yeah, uh, we see Jan getting the dub versus Zviagintsev. Oh, Swana is on seven and a half. Points still, you know, a very good score. Mm. 
Let's see what else we got. Uh, MVL loses to Max Sulu. Looks like he got crushed. Um, so, yeah, that is really... Oh, and we see Hans. Hans beat Pretke with the white pieces. But it looks like that is it. Um, MVL's for... ending position has five pawns on the fifth rank. Yep. But yeah, Svana, Svana is a regular in, in Title Tuesdays, and Ikaro's played him quite a lot, and he's always been very, very tough, so I'm not too surprised to see him doing extremely well in this event. Um, but, yeah, let's see. Um, so, yeah, let's try to pull this Danny somewhere. Let's see what's, uh, what's going on, if, if they're updating. So this was round number 10. 10, right? This was round number 10. Yeah, results are not updating just yet. Um, let's see. So Hikaru moves to 7 points out of 10. Same as Magnus. Okay, so Levon has 8.5. Kraftiv has 8. Dubov has 8, I believe. And that is it. And then there's a pack of people with seven and a half and then there's a pack with seven players that includes hikaru and magnus with seven yeah and magnus okay yeah but hans one two right hans seven. won yeah he's on seven, seven points as well so maybe hikaru will play hans like you know back in the day it is a why... potential matchup yeah they played a lot of blitz matches i i wonder why they stopped playing uh, at some point but it is what it is. Um, but you guys, we are going to be taking a short break. Don't go anywhere, you guys. There will be two more rounds of Blitz. We will see you guys right after the break. Welcome back, everyone, to the World Blitz Chess Championships in Warsaw, Poland. In round number um, 11, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He cars up against Sindarov from Uzbekistan. And we have some sort of Banco-ish... Benoni slash type of, is, yeah. type of position. So what do you make of this uh, opening canty? Oh, it's space. Space grabbing. Uh, definitely good for, for uh, white. Obviously, especially engines love these, but as a human, I mean, both sides have been played. Even Nakamura's played yeah. sometimes on the King's Indian side of things of this. But white yeah. does have a lot of space. Black's trying to play dynamically. I think White does, uh, you know, he, he kind of knows what to do with space. So knight d2, knight yeah. c4 may, may be coming up here, gripping on uh, the b6 and stopping that. I think it's pretty good, but Cinderoff knows what to do. He plays knight e4, very good. Queen c2 to follow yeah. now, and, you know, For sure, seems uh, yeah. pretty pretty solid and, and uh, standard so far, to say the least. Yeah. And for those of you who are wondering, like, why there's no players in the background, that is because... The women's section uh, is less round, I, less rounds. I think it's 17. So they play 10 today and 7 tomorrow. That's why the boards in the background are empty. Uh, but yeah, Hikaru here with the white pieces against Cinderoff. We see them, you know, blitzing out the moves. Um, right, a bishop for four. This looks quite pleasant for Hikaru. If he can somehow get the knight around a c4, then d6 comes under a lot of pressure. But he's taking his time here after the move bishop to g4. Now, if e4 to... is, you think he's going to give up the bishop here? Yeah, I mean, I think so because you want to get developed somehow. And if you do allow knight d2 to I'm c4, go they will be c4. annoying to deal with. Yeah. And if I go knight d2, he's going to take on e4. That's why bishop g4 was so good. Or e2, I mean. So, right. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah I really do annoying. wonder if, if Hikaru can somehow do it anyway and then right. jump with the knight and take on d6. Maybe that is an option, but. Perhaps black has tactical means, maybe maybe ninety two g five and then so bishop e three sack. He goes ninety two, okay. Mm. But yeah, I do wonder if there it is. Black can so go g five and after bishop e three, black could sack, but then it okay. Can't his... be enough. Definitely not. Enough, right, right, yeah. Bishop h six, I mean I step king h one, ninety four, yeah. king rook f one again. Two. I mean the yeah. bishop is gonna be dumped strong on e three and d four. Yeah. If he's able to grab e three. Yeah, but if you do anything else, like the lines you mentioned, like bishop 62, 94, looks lost. And indeed, g5 is on the board, bishop 3 by Ikaru. Will the youngster sack on e3, or will he just complete development with knight d7? Right? Oh, and he goes for bishop, rook takes e3, f takes e3, and knight d7. Wow, and knight okay, not easy to deal with in a blitz game. 
So let's see. I mean, I think someone like bishop e4 makes sense. Maybe bishop f5. Try to get control over the light squares over there. Spam that flower to give Hikaru power. Generally, it, the sacrifice is correct, but in fact, it's weird. Like, the sack is correct, but it's not, like, he's not winning. In, in fact, yeah. you know, he still would prefer to be white. I mean, because it, it, it feels like he doesn't have enough conversation, but he has enough conversation, which is weird. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, I, I feel like white should be better. There should be a way to stabilize the position here. Also, the fact that I mentioned earlier that black has pushed this pawn to g5. If this pawn was on g6... Uh, then black should have, you know, good positional compensation. But the pawn on g5 weakens the light squares, and there we go. Bishop e4 from Hikaru on the board. That looks like the right move. Let's see how Cinderov will deal with the attack on the h7 pawn. Is there a dark square bishop? Maybe, uh, There's knight f6, bishop five, f5 by Hikaru. Six, nice move. And six, bishop f5, very nice. And he e4, went queen e7. Seven. Maybe knight c4, stabilizing everything. He goes rook to a3, defending the pawn laterally. Also looks good. I think if you're... I think Hikaru would like to get... Okay, he goes rook to e8. Very logical. Let's see how Hikaru will try to stabilize here. But it does feel like the position should be better for him. And he needs a win here. He needs a win. A win would move him uh, closer to the leaders. It's two in a row so far. And, oh, we already have the first, resu re first result of the round. Fedosev and Dubov already drew their game. Okay. Um, I wonder if it's just, you know, a friendly draw. I mean, they are both from Russia, both around the same age. So, I don't know. Anyway, they they, they do stay at the top. But A5 it's by Hikaru. Friendly draw. Yeah, that's Russia too. Follow. Yeah, that was, yeah. Bishop H5 you know by Sindarov. Okay, so now the pawn on D5 is an, under attack. He could not take it earlier because that would leave the bishop hanging. So maybe e4 by Hikaru, followed by knight c4, looks quite pleasant for him. Let's see what he's going to come up with. But he should, he should be better here. The evil bar in e4 on the board. The evil bar also shows a 1.5 advantage for white. It's definitely looking very promising. Bishop g6 by Sinarov on the board. It's very nice, right? We have that, of course, again, we have that exchange. This is starting to show a little bit more. It, it, it yeah. takes so much more accuracy and time, which uh, Sinarov doesn't have a lot of. He takes on g6, this is possible, but this stabilizes the light squares a little bit for black. King g2 by Hikaru on the board. Uh, making sure there's no nasty tactics on this diagonal if the bishop ever lands here. Um, so both players around a minute. It looks better for Hikaru, but not that easy to improve the position. Because you can't really move the knight, that always leaves this pawn hanging. Rook b3 is a move, but then what do you do afterwards, right? All right, he's trying to improve and press. Yeah. How is that possible? Maybe rook to f1. Maybe try to use this e rook on e1. Indeed. Yeah, maybe move the rook over here or something. Knight g4 by Sindarov. Now, knight e3 is not knight. a threat. Knight c4 by Hikaru. I like that. Putting yeah. pressure on the pawn on d6. I think if Hikaru gets one or two moves, he's going to go rook to b3 and rook to b6, putting maximum pressure on the pawn on d6. On d6, no. yeah. Looking Just good. Make, indeed. Just make sure you don't blunder knight e3. <laughs> 95 rook b3 on the board it's starting to look better and better he's getting more control off the position but once again he'll still have to convert this one i think they Little traded shuffle. they traded the bishop landed on d4 and queen c2 nice move by card defending pawn on e4 g4, g4 by Sinarov. he's probably looking at this this and this queen g5 queen g5 queen h3 e3 bishop b5 on the board Ooh, okay okay Looks better for Icar, but still very much a game. He's reaching for the queen. Queen e2, nice move, hitting the pawn on g4. And Cinderov when Got the rooks. Queen d7, rook b6. King g7. How do we win this? How do we actually White win this? White should be better, but how do you make progress? Maybe move the rook over. Right. Rook of one on the board. Yeah, oh, but it, it says that somehow. Cinderov has 18 seconds. Icar has like 50. Drop in that prime to make Cinderov lose on... Okay, on <laughs> get him low on time. Okay, well. or, I feel a bit bad saying, like, make him lose on time. Because it's very, very tough. But, yeah. Before, that's a nice move. Opening up With the, the beef also then... Yeah. Uh, what happened? I can't tell. C4. It looks like a free pawn. Hikaru did, in fact, take it. I can't tell what Cinderov He's did. Moving. He moved his queen back. He moved his queen back. It's all looking yeah, pretty stable now for pressure. Hikaru. Hitting the... Or oh, the bishop takes g3? He didn't see it. He went queen d7. 
Okay, b5 now, nice move, making progress. Takes, rook takes. Queen takes was made possible as well. But car, oh, he's Is he sacking? Going. Oh, he didn't. Rook h5. I but... felt the sack coming. I thought he was about to do it. Car goes rook to f2 to stabilize. Uh, queen c8 on the board. Less time is even it's left. It's not over just yet, but Icaro should win this one. New queen c2. Oh, he wants five. to do this. He wants to do this. Still some tricks. Still some tricks. Hikaru going queen f1. Queen f1. Hitting the pawn. I uh, can't tell what happened. He played f6. f6. Queen b1. This looks queen crushing. B1. Okay. Uh, rook takes b7 happened. Whoa. Queen c3. I can't tell what's going on. Still very tricky. Check. That's a check. Five. Rook takes h5. Pawn takes. Hikaru looks a bit more relaxed now. Queen c2. He should be winning this one. There goes the A pawn, H4, eh. uh, still what is tricky. Going on there, right? Queen, Rook, Bishop, E. There's an H4 is on the board, Let but it's like really threat. Yeah. You can maybe just run on the board. Yeah, they already took that. Oh, he took and Queen E1, hitting off. the pawn, Way but... Behind. Queen E6, eh. Queen E2. Just want to check, check Rook of 1, this block. looks winning. The king will sit safely in the corner, it feels, but still, he will have to convert this one. E4, king, h1. Okay, this is the position on the board. It's winning. He's going to take here, then he's going to take here, and then he stabilizes. King, h1 is on the board. Um, he takes on h3. Oh, he takes both takes of them. Now he's G2. out the woods. Queen, g2, and what do you do? And yeah, that's what we do. Still, we do queen, f3. Still, uh, he has to convert, you know? And we got to push Look. those, but we're getting out of the box, though. And the h pawn's there right. We he go. resigns. There we go. He resigns. Oh, my goodness. And a win for Hikaru. He moves to 8 points out of 11. Getting closer to the leaders. Very, very important win here. Let's have a look at what happened in the other games. You guys did this. You guys did this. Chad, you did this. Y'all kept it coming. Y'all yeah. kept it coming. His power level was still over 9,000. And he you was guys, able to use that in this game. Indeed. You guys kept spamming that energy. Uh, we see that Magnus beat Vahab Sanal with the Black Piece. So Magnus also moves to 8 out of 11. I don't think they'll play each other just yet, but at some point it becomes a possibility. We see that Levon drew Kraftiv with the black pieces. Um, let's see if uh, Duda still fighting Sashko. Duda won. This is checkmate. All right. Let's see what happened in the other games. Um, MVL beat Madlakov. So MVL moves to... I don't know, eight and a half, something. Still a couple still a couple games going on. We have Parham here versus Rauf or Madoff. Can't tell what, what happened. Let me see. My mic's gonna refresh events. Yeah. All of it. It's been off. And here we can just move over to events. So let's see. There we there. go. Cool. Nice. Sit down. All right, so let's see what happened. Okay, so Magnus Carlsen beats Vahab Sanal with the black pieces. Uh, Levan Aronian beats Kraftsev. Then we have a draw between Sechev and Balagon. Fedosev and Dubov draw. Looks like a fairly you know peaceful draw. Yeah, very um, peaceful. Rasmus loses to Amin Basem. Very, very strong blitz player from, from Egypt. But yeah, Magnus uh, uh, Rasmus... His streak comes to a bit of an end. We see that Hikaru with a very important win over Cinderov. Uh, what else do we have? Ruzhi Duda beating Sachko. Oh, for Ruzhi beating Yeah, that's big for Okay. Him. And Hans loses to Arjun. Very, very unfortunate loss for Hans Niemann. Oh. Um, let's see what else happened. Grishuk beats... Uh, Ad I guess that's... Adley, probably they miswrote it. Um, then we have Shahriar drawing against Ivich. Oh, so Parham won against Ralph Mamedov. And yeah, draw uh, Artemiev beating Alexienko. So yeah, so, let's see what else uh, so we have. Oh, that? here a nasty tactic. Uh, let's pull this one up real, real quick for you guys. Nasty tactic here by Matthias Bluebaum. So it started off pretty quiet. You know, pretty quiet stuff. Right, it seems all pretty symmetrical. But then all of a sudden, for knight to f4, 
Damn. If you take the bishop on f6, queen takes d2, take, check, and take, sure, up a piece. So rook d1 happened, but takes, takes, and bishop takes b2. Dang. White can take here, but you just recapture, and you're going to lose the rook. Because if you take, guess what? Checkmate on the back rank. So Matthias Boy. definitely... Um, oh, man. He definitely blue bound him there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Um, Gross, dude. That was ridiculous. This is a blues game. Right. right decimated him there. Beautiful. So let's see. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, Gray have beating Nasuto. But yeah, I think that is it for the most part for the noteworthy uh, pairings. I guess results are going to update shortly. Yeah, once again, Magnus won against Vahab Sanal. Levon stays in the sole lead. Levon stays in the sole lead. With nine points out of eleven games, uh, then with eight and a half is Dubov and Martin Kravtsev. I mean, Bassam is also in that score, and then on eight points we have Magnus Carlson, Hikaru Nakamura, yeah. Duda, uh, Arjun for sure, Grishuk won, Mamedcharov. I know that I know that Rav Mamedov won, but there's definitely a pack with um, eight players. Um, so yeah, but there will be one more game today, you guys, and we'll just have to wait for that. But yeah, those are the yeah, Carl, a three game win streak chat, three game yeah. win streak. Uh, hey, all it takes sometimes is one, and then you get Indeed. hot with that hot hand, right? Yeah. And then it just no. you get on a streak, and then your points Indeed. become more worth more, Microsoft. right? <laughs> Anyway, uh, guys, we are going to be taking what might be our last break of today. But don't go anywhere, you guys. We will be right back with the last round of the first day of the World Blitz Chess Championship. All right, everyone, and welcome back to the World Blitz Chess Championship in Warsaw, Poland. In round number 12, the last round of the day, we have a huge matchup. Hikaru Nakamura with the white, with the white pieces against three-time World Blitz Chess Champion, Alexander Grishuk. Canty, what do you make of this pairing? Ooh, boy, it's Grishuk. It's Sasha. It's Grishuk. Now, of course, we three in a row, okay? We got, yeah, he did say Nakamura, didn't he? I know. Yeah, he yeah. did. He did. No, but There's Grishuk, shake. Grishuk is, is here. We got Sasha here. It's time to go to work, guys. This is going to be fun. Now, he on a steamroll. We got three in a row. Let's see if we can get a fourth, and this is a big win with uh, Grishuk. Indeed, yeah. Grishuk might be a three-time World Blitz chess champion, but we got three wins in a row. We got the chat behind us. You guys, give him all your energy. Let's he go. needs it. Give to cap off the first day, <laughs> indeed, <laughs> give him that energy. To cap off the first day here uh, with four straight wins in a row, that will be huge for his confidence going into the second run. And, yeah, I guess we're going to be start. We're gonna get started in less than a minute. Oh, it's one... Th it's... Um, it's third here, and there they go. They're off. And Hikaru starts off with d4. Knight of 6 by Grishuk. Is he going to go for the Nimzo? Yeah, there we go. You got to refresh mine and not moving in line. And Hikaru there takes his time here. Is he going to stick with knight c3? Yep, yeah, that's what we saw in the rapid portion. Bishop b4 by Grishuk. Queen of c2 and castling. a3. So you trade on the c3 square. And d5. This is the main line. Now here against Jordan Van Forest. Ikaru chose the move e3, and we see it here e3. once again. And Grishuk doesn't know it. Like we said, uh, Ikaru had this in the speed chess championship with the black pieces against Wesley So, and he was struggling and it, with the black pieces. And uh, with the white piece against Jordan von Vries, he quickly got a winning position. So let's hope this, will, this one will go well, too. Yeah, definitely. I'm open C file. Of course, he's familiar with these lines. He's played them many, 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 many times. Right here, and we also have a good pawn structure. Uh, pressure yep. down a C file, both the bishops, bishop pair. Well, maybe not for long. After bishop a6, trading yeah, them. No. Indeed. And um, yeah, white is a slightly better pawn structure. The bishop on c1 is a little bit passive. If the bishop would be out to, let's say, g5 or f4, white should be having a nice advantage. But indeed, let's say this pawn was on b7, right? All of black's uh, pawn structure problems would be solved, but this creates a backwards pawn on c7, which can never really be solved, right? So, and we see Grishuk here going for the first real think 
of the game. Let's see if Hikaru can put him under real pressure. Queen e7 is on the board. Well, speaking of pressure, I mean, we know who, who thinks the most is the man right here. But he can still play very, 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 very high level chess um, more often than, than not when, yeah. when he's very long time. So we know Grishik for thinking a lot. But maybe, you know, just maybe, especially on a three game win streak here, you know, maybe sometimes you're hot, you've got the hot hand here. Maybe we'll be able to push him into that time trouble that he's usually in and be able to get a dub here. Yeah. And also, by the way, we want to bring to your attention that um, already the first result of the round is in Dubov and Fedos. And uh, wait, no, I think, wait, I'm reading it wrong. It's uh, Nepo, Nepo already drew. Fedoseyev, so another friendly draw, I guess, you can say, between the Russians. Uh, Bishop D2 here by Hikaru. Hikaru's looking very confident. He's moving very fast because <laughs> he really knows good. how unpleasant this position is for the black pieces because he um, scored, he, he was suffering himself against Wesley Lusso in his PHS championship. Indeed here, and after bishop to d2, my bishop's looking kind of ugly here on d2, but we could play bishop to c3. Right. How do we activate this bishop bot? What's the plan for it? That is a good question indeed. I think at some point, you know, a trade will happen. I don't think right away, because the black knights will just get too active. So he's probably going to delay that, maybe with a move like rook to c1 or castling. Once again, the structure is in his favor. Also, Grishik down to 123 on the clock, while Hikaru... Oh, almost has three minutes here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> true, yeah. True, true, true. But Sorry, what day yeah. is it again? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, but let's see what Icaro's going to do here. He, I saw him reaching for the rook earlier. Then he had, you know, a bit of hesitation. So let's see uh, whether he'll throw the move in uh, anyway. And there he goes, rook to c1. Yeah, rook c1. I'm very confident. On the file with a smile here. So after, uh, let's say, captures on d4, do we take with, uh, hmm, what do we take with? Pawn takes yeah. is definitely not it. We're not isolating. So it's either, well, then I would have to say knight only. But then that makes the bishop still terrible. Are you isolating um, the pawn? Well, yeah, I was thinking initially, like, okay, we never, we always want to take with a knight because then the pawn on d5 will be isolated and we can target it. On the other hand, um, if we take with the pawn, the bishop has more space to move. But Grishik maneuvers his knight e6. I think now... Is sort of the time to take on c5, but Hikaru goes bishop to c3. He delays the decision. Now, black could play c4, create a majority, and make sure that his pawns will never be a damage. But then, on the other hand, white gets more of a free hand in the center and on the queen side. And we do see c4 from Grishik on the board. Wait. Right, let's see I think f3 is very natural here. Hikaru so goes a5 first. Oh, that is possible. We saw a4 by Hikaru oh, stopping the queen side expansion, and Grishik. Played rook eight and f3 on the board. He f5 f5 stopping e4 yeah. by Icaro. King f2. He did play f5. We know it's coming. Yeah. So what do we do about this? King f2, okay. Yeah. Once again, Hikaro almost up a minute on the clock. There was ideas like h3, g4 to expand. Um, it's hard to tell what's going on. It should be four. Maybe uh, going to d6 and e5. That is an Rook idea C6 for sure. Stops it. Yeah, he knew that it was coming. He was like, none of that. H3, more of a waiting move. Maybe G4 to H5. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> so it's only stopping okay. everything. H4. Okay, yes, it's a four score for his knight, but it's currently covered by the other knight. Uh, so let's see how he's going to make progress. I think he played the move G3, solidifying the structure. Uh, Grishuk moved his rook over to C8. 126 for Karo, 40 seconds for Grishuk. But, this is solid, though. Yeah. Solid for both sides. Difficult to really do anything. Knight c3. A6 by Grishuk. Okay, what is Hikaru going to do here? It's difficult to come up with a plan. His pieces are all ideal. I mean, that was honestly yeah. a masterclass of defense. And from Grishuk's side, to be honest. He put the knights on e6 and f6. Yeah. Double the rooks and slowly expanding. Stopped Indeed. h5. He stopped the g4 push. He stopped the e4 push. This was like excellent prophylaxis. Yeah, Hikaru moved his king over to the center with king e2, king e2, and Grishuk seems to be doing the same thing, moves his king to d7. Now, once again, guys, Grishuk has 25 seconds. Toss in that prime to get him low on time. <laughs> Works every time. Let's go. 
Yeah, rookie eight by Grishuk. I think both sides have a difficult time here figuring out a plan. But it feels like if someone can do anything, it's Hikaru. He goes king to c2. What is that? Yeah. G6 by Grishuk. So let's find this. I think that king belongs on d2. You want to make sure that this pawn is always protected. But Hikaru yeah. chooses that square for his bishop. I like the bishop. What about this box? Maybe double on the e file and eventually push e or g4. Something like that. I mean, maybe at the right timing as a. Moment G4 to try to break is down this time. completely controlled. It seems yeah, very difficult. No G4. But definitely, <sighs> maybe an E4. But it's very risky. I and mean, we don't know what's on the other end of that. Knight C3, what is that? They're shuffling back and forth. So again, Hikaru does have that like 20 second time advantage. The knight moving around the B4 that would hit the rook. And this rook is trying to provoke A5. Okay, he could go A5 himself and then knight B4. But then Grishuk will defend. That's a committal decision. So if he but it could work out. Let's see if he's going to go for it or if he will just keep shuffling. Moves the other rook to e1. Maybe he's looking at a break, like you yeah, said, in the center. Yeah, e4 maybe. But it seems extremely difficult to push through. Yeah. Knowing Hikaru, he likes to do that. I mean, this is not online chess, but in online yeah. chess, he likes to do that. He likes to wait around and wait and shuffle until that right moment. And then he'll break the position open at e4 when you got like six seconds left. And you got to figure Indeed. it out. And then he's just like, okay, I'm just going to flag him here. Anyway, king c6, rook a1 on the board. Uh, at some point, the 50 rule, 50 move rule might be a thing, but I think that's way too early. It looks even to me, but I predict that at some point, something is going to happen. Either open. player's going to do something. What about this? Why, watch this plan. Right, so we move in, we go bishop e1, knight c3, rook e2, and then you mm -hmm. put the bishop on f2, double the rooks, and then finally play e4. With the right, knight on yeah. c3, bishop f2, double rook to play e4. And that is probably the best method eventually he to play e4. He could go... Eh, both sides just choose to maneuver. I think... Yeah. Yeah. Tough, tough position. I really don't see what either player can do here. Knight of c3. King moves over. Uh, Car moves the king back. Yeah, they're shuffling back and forth. It's like seven seconds. And it really is working because he's thinking. Like, it really has a good shot. Yeah. Oh, you're wasting time. He had more time than this. Right, but Grishuk stays around that, you know, like 15, around 15 seconds. He caught around 30. But, yeah, once again, both sides really have a tough time doing anything. He yeah. caught once again, moving back and forth. I mean, he goes knight to b4, like hitting the pawn. B4. Just, I mean, the pawn on a6 it. is under I'm attack. Playing. But once again, he cannot go out of his way and do something crazy because Grishuk's position is solid. You can't. But he's, he's leaning forward now. Wait, this is e4 move. I think rook a8 was played. He goes g4, breaking open on the king side. Now it's exploding. It. Let's go. E e4 would have been stronger, but he chose his g4. E4. G4 open on up, the board. Who's home? Uh, a5 hitting the knight. You just take on f5, right? Take on f5 first and then move the knight. I think he took an F5 G. Wait, that must be that, that must be a transmission be a error. He, he, he recaptured. He recaptured. Yeah, that's definitely not. He for definitely sure. Took I can tell what's going on, but yeah, well, okay. rules are updated. flying. And this looks good, good for Icardo. Knight and B5 is very solid. Can never be removed. Takes an E3. Rook takes. Double rook. Rook to E7. Two seconds left on the clock for Grishik. He played H5 it. He played is weak. Beautiful. Rook E7 on the board. Rook E7 on the board. Icardo going Bishop F4. He wants to recapture the Bishop. Grishik takes. Bishop takes. Rook to G8 now by Grishik. Trying to use the oh, open yeah. foul. Eh, rook g8 on the board. What can Hikaru do here? Um, don't see it. He can D7, maybe go rook e1 eight. on the board. Yeah, he went knight to d7. They traded him. They traded rooks. King up. Wait, king but up. Push. Tough to tell you what's going on. It's probably a draw. It's probably a draw, but in no time, it can't. Like, really, yeah, anything can happen he here. Play in this? Like, he plays so oh, good. There's some He's sort like of zook, zook zwang hey. on the board. Right, Zug Master. Hold on, B six is hanging. Oh, you can think of B six, Knight C six. But can you win? Bishop C seven. Bishop C seven. It's still sort of Zug swing. King up. King, king up. King up, up. But you oh, hang but this. Yeah. Uh, you went Bishop back. Okay. Uh, is this winning? Bishop hopping in with the knight. Can't tell what happened. Knight takes D four. Bishop takes A five is on the board. This he Carlos game to win. King of four. Uh, knight B three. Heck, this, heck this, knight b3, uh, move the bishop somewhere. Risky. The bishop one diagonal method. But this pawn is not really pawns. going anywhere. The a pawn should be way stronger. Bishop b4, d4, king e4 on the board. d3, king e3. It's winning. It's, a5, it's there he winning. goes. Knight b4, bishop c3. Knight f5, check. And there goes the h pawn. 
Push him. Oh, he's shaking his oh, head. Oh, no. He's shaking the his H-palm head. H-palm drops off. He's shaking his head. The four, knight takes it forward. It's probably a draw. But still, a6, king c6, king e4. It's not happy. F4 on the board. Oh, he takes that. Yeah, he takes Lose the pawn. He, can, he pushes forward. Grisha can probably... Can he take? Can he take an f5 or does that lose the game? I have no idea. Grisha having no time. Or will he let this pawn push through? Oh, wait, Grisha oh. flex? Or did he offer no, a draw? I can't no, tell. I think he offered a draw. I think it was a draw. I think it was draw. I think it was draw, bro. I think he gave him a draw. He had him there. He had him there. But I think indeed a draw was offered. Like, probably Grishuk. Probably this was a draw. Right? Hey, that was a tough to game. Race, he he had him right five. around here. He blundered his move knight f5. That really gave everything mm. away. In this position, the move a6 would have been winning if he just taken just a little bit of time to calculate. Like, if you give a check, a good king back, take, you cannot stop this pawn. Wait, it looks like it's a draw. It's a draw. Yeah, it's a draw. Not a disastrous result, but he had him. They're going tough, back and tough. looking at it right now, as you see on the screen, guys. Uh, even back here. As they analyze, wonder, are we able to? We can see that, I think, right on the live board. Yeah, I think we can see their analysis on the live board. Very, very tough. Yeah, bishop c3. So, unfortunately, not the move he misses, move knight f5. Then, with the h pawn dropping off, black has his own passer, and suddenly everything gets out of control. Um, and the king can still stop this pawn. So, a draw for Hikaru. So let's have a look at the other results. Three and a half out of the last four. I mean, we can't be mad, John. Think about that. Three and a half out of the last four. True, yeah. but still, like, I mean, A6, A6 wins the game here. So tough, tough. Very, very tough. I'm pretty sure if he yeah. finds A6, it's game over. But fortunately... Undefeated, yeah. He'd been undefeated I today, know. too. I mean, Ferocia took some L's. Magnus took some yeah. L's. Did Hikaru take some L's? Anybody? Hello. Oh, and there we have Hikaru. Oh, I. Uh, okay. Let's hope we can get him for an interview, but Not we'll see uh, what's going to happen. Um, let's have a look at what happened in the other games. So Magnus drew Arjun. Um, so Magnus also an eight and a half out of twelve. And then we also have uh, Artemiev beating Ivich. Right, let, let's just go. Let's just go to two events. All right, let's. Fresh. So let's. Oh, I think we will have Hikaru, but not sure. We'll find out shortly. We're walking out of the playing hall. Um, we'll find out soon enough. Anyway, Magnus draws Arjun with the white pieces. Wait, the thing just. It's laggy now. Okay, anyway. Uh, Levon beats Dubov. So I think Levon stays in the lead. What I mean, where did he come from? Levon just came out of nowhere and started cleaning up shop and taking a commanding lead now. Sheesh, Levon. Indeed. LeBron Aronian out here. <laughs> LeBron. He's going crazy <laughs> out here, dog. Ten piece. Then we have uh Bologon drawing Arian Toddy. I'm I mean by Sam beats Kraftsif. And uh yeah, Krishiki Kikar is a draw. Parham mm -hmm. beating Duda. Let's see what else we have. Uh, Nepo made, you know, the, the Berlin draw against Ferrasev, as we see here, you know, the Queen's shuffling back and forth. Um, yeah, as we said, Artemiev beats Ivich over here. Chagai beats Kanarak. Oh, here, another noteworthy pairing. Marty Rosian took Mamajara for a hike. Um... All right. Oh, we got word that Hikaru will be joining us for an interview. Let's go. So don't don't go anywhere, you guys. Don't go anywhere, you guys. He will be joining us shortly. The so man tuned. himself. The man himself, indeed. Um, and yeah, let's see. I think, ooh, Rasmus Fana takes another L against Cinderov. Ali Reza does get the dub, so he moves closer to the leaders. So, but yeah, let's have a quick look. I don't think the results are updated just yet on chess results, mm -hmm. but let me... Uh, so Magnus draws Arjun, 
Or, right, let's go from board one. Levon. Levon be Dubov. Levon takes. Levon moves to 10 out of 12. Right behind him. Oh, oh he's going off. Going off. Nice I'm here. telling you. Big dog. Wait, wait. I Where did he come from? He's just. Whoa. He's a, did anybody pick so, Levon, right? And well, put, Levon. A, uh, put a top pick. All right, so uh, I think Hikar is joining. Set this up. Wait. Um. Are there headphones or not? No headphones. Um. If, as you prefer, I have headphones. I mean, I'll just put headphones. Yeah. Can I just put these on? Yeah. Sure. They're a little bit confusing yeah, yeah, how to wear. I just need to know which one is which. Is this the right yeah. one? Yeah. yeah, I've done it before. All right, just a second, you guys. Yeah, I can hear you guys. All right, good. All right, wait no, just a second. We're getting everything uh, set up here. Um, wait just a second. Box setting up. Not gonna so uh, say hi to the chat. They uh, they loving <laughs> to see you right now. They all going crazy. You in the chat right now, Naka. So how you feel, man? Uh, I mean, I'm I'm not happy, obviously, but uh, you know, it, it is what it is. I mean, there there were so many games where I got great positions and I didn't win, and there were also a lot of very bad positions where I should have lost and I drew. So I mean, just very up and down. Well, as box fixing it up too here, we wanted yeah. to mention. I was mentioning to the chat, hey, you know, well, Magnus took some some losses today, and Faruja took some losses, but you took no losses today so it's a very good consistency right and now we just want to pick well, up some wins obviously yeah i mean I, I think what i would say is generally if you don't lose you're gonna have your chances i mean that's that's the bottom line and yeah. um i mean I, I had had chances last game of course was a was, was just ridiculous what i did at the end but i mean I, I think actually from the start of the rapid even through the blitz day whenever it's like gotten really messy and low on time my instincts have been horrible um i mean i think I showed in the first game against don chunk on the rapid and i, I mean i felt yeah. like today uh, I mean, I was able to win the game against uh, Cinderov, but I also like panicked and messed that up a, a little bit too um, at the end. But yeah, no, it's 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 what it is. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it felt like you had a bit of a slow start. Um, right. I mean, you 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 did win um, some games in the beginning, but then yeah, you had, you had a you had a bunch of draws. Uh, do you feel like that was just bad luck, or like what what do you think was the the main factor that those games didn't really go your way? I mean, I just wasn't sharp. I mean, I, I, I basically mm -hmm. just blundered. I mean, this this game against uh, the Indian kid where I played this e4 move. Like, I just forgot that after queen e4, queen f6, there was queen g6. I, I mean, I literally just forgot that he could block with the queen. Oh, um, okay. I mean, that was very bad. Um, I mean, I think there was another game, too, uh, that I was winning quite smoothly, and then I messed it up. Um, Maybe against Sechev? Ah yes, this one, of course. Yeah, yeah, this this was also ridiculous too. Completely winning, and then I, and then I made a one move blunder, allowing this this rook d six pin of the knight mm. on d five. Um, right. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I I think my instincts were very were very very bad today. Um, but I was able to win some games, and you know, it's it's decent. But of course, not win this last one, considering, you know, I had had big big advantage on the clock, big advantage on the board. I mean, it was was just very very poor technique. But you know, it wasn't really my day. So to be where I'm at, I guess you could say I'm. I'm somewhat happy because I think I'm what one maybe one one and a half points out, um, if I'm not mistaken. So, I mean, if I anybody can get hot, and there still are a lot of rounds, so I think that's the the most important takeaway. Yeah, no, yeah, I think you're you're one and a half points behind uh, Lafon, and yeah, this last game against uh, Grishog was kind of unfortunate. Um, so yeah, we, we saw we saw you you know like shuffling back and forth. Did mm -hmm. you feel like at some point a chance would arise, or he would get low on the clock, or? Yeah, well, I mean, he, your, your he, thing. he was low on the clock. It was hard to play. And I figured sooner or later, I would have an opportunity to complicate matters. Um, and I thought what I did was good. And then his reaction was, was not great. Because um, after this G4, A5, G takes F5, I thought, I actually thought. Um, Hit A, B. Yeah, I thought if he just took on B4, he was actually completely fine with no worries. And then he didn't do that. And so I got these chances. And um, and then at the end, I just like, I just hallucinated. I just forgot about this Knight F5 move, uh, basically. 
um and yeah i mean it's just just crazy crazy but yeah that's what it is yeah yeah sorry that yeah kind of unfortunate you didn't win that game um so yeah what uh yeah how are you gonna try to you know get get into it uh, tomorrow I mean, just play better. I, I don't yeah. usually have two off days in a row. So if I play well, good things will happen. And, uh, you know, the, the thing is, again, there are many, many, many rounds left. Uh, it's, you know, it's quite different than the Rapid, where I think it's it's much harder to win games and come back from behind. But here, at least, uh, there are, what, nine games? I mean, still a lot of games left. So anything can happen. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, so we hope, yeah, you, you do get on a streak tomorrow. And then, indeed, everything... Um can happen oh, and... i mean don't, don't forget I, I think uh both magnus and i are, are, are a little bit behind but we still have to play I, I think we have to play all the top players still so right uh i mean there, there's no guarantee that they'll also keep keep running it up and winning every game so yeah we'll see what happens i mean but it's it's you know i mean very mixed very 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 mixed uh mixed day i mean i i don't like i'm pretty upset about the last game but i mean at the same time i mean this game against uh um uh reach yeah, Cadridge was. Just, I mean, <laughs> I, I, mean I, I should lose that game ninety nine out of a hundred. So at the same time, it's kind of hard to be be too upset. But uh, so, you know, it's what it is. Yeah, I guess this was uh, game number one hundred and that you that you did manage to save. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, we've been doing uh, the easy work here. You know, cheering you on, and you're doing the heavy lifting. Do you have anything anything to say? You know, to your fans who are here. You know, cheering you on. <sighs> Not really. I just hope that everyone's enjoying enjoying the show. Really, I mean, it's been. Mm-hmm. I mean, the the rapid was much much smoother. I think you could say, but this has been. I mean, very very choppy, of course. And I just I hope everyone's enjoying and having a good time. And uh, and hopefully I'll be back to to talk to everyone soon. Right. Yeah. I mean that that is part of Blitz. But yeah, keep up all the keep all the good work, man. And uh, we will yeah, keep uh, cheering you on. All right. Have a good one, you guys. You too. Have bro. a good one. All right. Bye. See you. Bye. All right, you guys. Um, wait, let's try to figure this out. Why does this stuff always happen? Yeah, Go guys, here. he loves y'all, man. You, you know, you, you yeah. can feel the love there. Y'all just feel the connection there. You just feel that. You feel that it's love, right? Indeed. That's love. It's all through the chat. Yeah. It's beautiful. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, if we, uh, let's see if we can pull up um, the standings real quick after the first day uh let me uh try to pull it up okay, uh, ten days. okay wait just a second i'll try to pull up the standings real real quick bear with us you guys uh but yeah basically um Oh yeah, guys, tomorrow, don't forget, tomorrow, it's going to start one hour earlier. So it's going to start at uh, 5 a.m. Pacific, 8 a.m. Eastern, and 2 p.m. Central European time. Be there, you guys. The blitz really? will be decided. But guys, just have a very quick look at the standings here. Um, let me pull this up. After the first day of blitz... We see that Levan Aronian is leading the field with a crushing score of 10 points out of 12. Then we have Amin Bassem in Seoul second with 9.5. Then we have Parham in Seoul third with 9 points. And then we have a group, a large group with 8.5. Fedoseev, Sindorov, Kravtsev, Nepo, uh, Magnus, Grishuk, but also our man Hikaru Nakamura. So let's hope he can get hot tomorrow and get on the streak and win many games in a row. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that's it for today. Thank you all so much for all your love and support. Um, you know, like I said, we're doing the easy work here, using the hard work. So, so keep it all up, James. It's been a pleasure once oh, again. Yes. Thank you so much uh, for all the energy you bring, and also a big shout out to to all the mods who are working hard to keep everything more pleasant for everyone. Um, James, any last words? Uh, lovely, lovely, love the um, love the chat, uh, love the games today. The commentary is always awesome. The Chewbacca, I'm um, always a pleasure with the chat and everybody else, and uh, having a car on too. So it's gonna be a pleasure tomorrow too as well. We got some more games, more big boy chess, so it's gonna be exciting, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. All right, awesome. Anyway, guys, make sure to tune in again tomorrow for the final day of the World Blitz Chess Championship. We will see you then.